All right, hello everybody. Welcome to a very special stream today that I've been very excited and working very hard on. I'm with these two guys, Michael Smallwood and Chris Trindade, who are joining me to marvel at your art. And if it's anything like last time, uh, that's marvel. <laughs> if, if it's any time <laughs> like the last time we did a fan art showcase, about halfway through, we'll just fall over dead uh, because. <laughs> Yeah. I, th I think by about the halfway point last time, Maximilian was just speechless. <laughs> yeah, I, I ran through every soundbite I could come up with, and then was basically just like, guys, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't. <laughs> More than words is all you have to do. Great and choice of there song. There goes the microphone. <laughs> Great choice of song. Great. So the interesting thing about today, though, is we are going in order of prompts. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. So we'll, we'll actually be going day by day uh, and, and shaking it up every few slides with a new prompt that they were given uh, per day. We've got uh, we, we, we've got art, we've got cosplay, we've got fanfics, and we've got a couple videos <coughs> as well. Uh, so yeah, buckle in. This is going to be at least two hours. I'm just going to like <coughs> grab a snack, grab some water, like... This, this is gonna be a while uh hmm. because we got a lot lot to get through over a hundred pieces like, I brought snacks. like well over a hundred pieces do it um and i brought and, a mustache <laughs> <laughs> well you don't have one anymore so no i'm, I'm joined I'm by 16 year old chris trendade today <laughs> <laughs> that's such a compliment <laughs> Hey, put mean, me now, in your 90210 reboot please <laughs> <laughs> well now i know you can play you can play high school so chris trinday's high school au gavin starting right off with our, our our stream um okay so i'm gonna screen share with you guys so you can see all of the lovely slides all that snap. i have worked very all hard snap. on oh yes okay and now let me make sure we can expand this so they can all oh. see our faces woohoo Okay, Ooh. and finally, I'm going to share the computer audio so that later when I share videos, you guys can hear them. All right, so the first day uh, was reverse AU, and for those outside the fandom, this might be an unfamiliar term. This is basically often uh, attributed to worlds in which Gavin is the android and Nines is the human. But there were a few different interpretations of this, role reversals from the actual movie, um, very scrambled role reversals with characters and other people's places that wasn't exactly uh, obvious. <laughs> and uh, so we got a lot of interest for this because this was the very first day. Um, this first one is by Honey Lemon Gummy. And I just have like a lot of affinity for this idea of Ada and Gavin actually being partners. Uh, so yeah. you'll yeah. see that a couple times in, in this day. Uh, I picked that out. And, and I guess also... Uh, this is a world in which uh, Gavin has a Zen Nines. Mm. Which makes me wonder what non-Zen Nines is like. Because Zen Gavin, Zen Vin and Gavin are two like very different people. I wonder what real world Nines is like in this universe. Yeah, and actually like how Gavin would personify him in a... Right. Yeah, I've never thought about that. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, what? Because like, because because Nines personifies Gavin in this way where he can just talk to him, mm -hmm. and like I think that's a big part of where that comes from. What it? What's that to Gavin? Maybe probably the same thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I really love this one. A lot of color by Nahira at one eighty on Instagram. Uh, standard reverse AU uh, where they change roles. This has uh, Gavin in like the typical like Gav. Android Gavin GV uh, tends to have like two different costumes that people go with. One is this one and the other is the uh, white hoodie um, because they even give him a hoodie even when he's an Android, which is very funny. Um, I like the idea that, that Android Gavin is like built with the scar. Yeah. <laughs> Like it's an aesthetic choice. Yes. Well, a lot yes. of a lot of times it's because he's like a, a lot of people um, present it as like he's a fragmented model, like like a like he was broken down and like kind of decommissioned and stuff, and like gets sent there as like this hobbled together like android. So it's interesting because they kind of still keep their backstories. Like they they kind of still keep like, mm. uh, you know, Gavin having been through all this trauma and stuff and, and, and Nines being very like analytical and very, um, you know, stoic, even though right. they reverse, um, I guess, species. So, yeah. 
Yeah, I appreciate they got the height disparity between Maximilian yes. and myself pretty accurately. <laughs> Although they gave you about three inches of hair to make up for it. <laughs> Your hair's trying to catch him. Yeah. I love like this. this is my hair trying to catch up. <laughs> this is by now is artsy stuff on Instagram. Uh, I just I, again I love the idea of Gavin still having a temper even though uh, he is an android, which is really cute. And I might I, I, go ahead. No, I just feel like that's also like I wonder what that means like societally because like every android is very to an extent docile, very like passive in a lot of instances <laughs> but there's the one like don't talk to gv 900 he'll he'll like actually fuck you up and like guy can lift like two tons with one hand so yeah actually a gavin that is stronger than nines is an interesting thing to imagine because that's so much mm. of their dynamic is that nines can protect him and kind of pr is safe for him and uh yeah, that's that's kind of uh, interesting as well. There's so much reverse AU stuff out there that's already been written. I should probably check it out. <laughs> mm. um, so this one is actually in honor of a fanfic. So uh, for the chat, this is what I've been doing for the fanfics that we're going to be honoring today. I have about six or seven of them. I wanted to do more, but these aesthetics just took too long. Um, there were over 250 fics written in the month of July for DE Art Fest, and that doesn't that's crazy. And that doesn't count. Um, some people like Springlock Spectre or Aimbot or Muriel Chaos or, or Joe who did uh, a collection of fix uh, every day and, and put them all like in one document. Um, and, the, and, and, and a lot of good stuff in there as well. So this one uh, is a reverse AU I really love called Deja Vu by CM Holden, um, who actually I think contributed both fic and art this month. And uh, this was not a reverse AU in the sense that I've just shown you guys. This was a reverse AU in the sense that uh, it was a continuation of the film, but it's a role reversal of Nines having a nightmare and Gavin comforting him. Um, so Nines has nightmares about the Zen Garden, and they kind of have a similar scene to the film, but oh, the roles yeah. are reversed. Um, so this is just a one shot. Uh, check it out on Archive of Our Own. All of the fix that I'm going to be talking about today are on Archive of Our Own. Uh, definitely go read this, everybody in the chat. Mm. This is by Rimushu0055 on Twitter. I love Rimushu's art just across the board. They've done a lot of great stuff for us. They, they did that, um, the one with the the vines uh, dividing uh, nines between the Zen Garden and reality. Right, I will yeah. never forget that one. One of my favorite pieces ever made. Um, but this one's really cute. This is actually uh, our normal uh, standard Gavin and Nines meeting reverse AU Gavin and Nines. Um, which I guess, yes, does make uh, a Zin or a Android Gavin a little more docile. <laughs> oh, man. He, Android, he's, but snarky as hell. Yeah. Why is Gavin so mad? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is before, uh, but before uh, Detroit Evolution, when, when Gavin is still uh, kind of a, kind of an angry rat. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like I feel like an Android version of Gavin is going to know how to get into human Gavin's head real fast. Oh, <laughs> that, yeah. Oh, very quickly. Oh, very yeah. quickly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love Queen Septine Ann's uh, art always. Uh, they've done a lot of great stuff for us in the past as well. Um, this is really cute because, yeah, as, as you say, he, he's still kind of snarky as hell, even when he's an Android. <laughs> Um, and Maximilian looks really good in that hoodie. So I, I really mm. love this from, from Queen Septiano on Twitter. The jawlines are represented. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so this oh. is actually kind of a precursor to the other fic that I'm going to recommend in a sec. Um, this is one where Nines and Ada switch places. They're both still androids, uh, but Ada is the police partner of Gavin and Nines is the liaison for Jericho. Um, so I love that this, this really just looks like it's from the film, um, but they did some interesting stuff with uh, Nine's costume and, and, and used Ada's costume from the Zen Garden as well. This is mm. for C Sir Leon's on, on Twitter as well. They usually hang out in my chats. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I haven't seen this one. This one's really cool. Yeah. And that being said, my other fic recommendation for uh, Reverse AU is My Promise is I Will Hurt You. This is a 36,000 word uh, Ada-centric reimagining of Detroit Evolution. It basically 
tells the story of the art that we just saw where Ada, uh, it, it's basically Detroit Evolution and a lot of the dialogue and stuff is the same. A lot of the scenes are the same, but Ada is Gavin's partner instead of Nines. And it was really interesting because a lot of the dialogue is the same. The nightmare scene is pretty much the same, but it's presented in a platonic way between Ada oh. and Gavin. Hmm. So it's recontextualized and also um, very thoughtful because Ada comes with past trauma and past demons of her own. So she actually comes at Gavin with empathy and mutual like shared trauma rather than uh, protectiveness like nines. It's very good. It's by Becky Helene on Archive of Our Own. It was posted yesterday. Uh, so mm. it's really high on the archive right now. It's really recent. And so, yeah, uh, Becky's in the, <laughs> Becky says, hmm, dying. Uh <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I also just like, I like, I enjoy the idea of a <clears throat> platonic story between a man and a woman. That's just like, not, yeah. it's not often the case. Mm -hmm. All right. We're on to the second day sharing a bed. Oh. Gang's all here. See him hold an art. Uh, yeah, the author of, of one of the previous things oh. I mentioned. Uh, this includes some canon characters. This is Kara, Luther, and Alice. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got Hank and Connor. We've got Chris Miller's family. We've got Tina and Valerie. Nines and Gavin. Ada and the Jerry crew all there. So, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Love the little Damien, awesome. right? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, keep, I like him at last one. I just noticed that Ada... Ada has her gunshot wound. Oh, does she? She does. She sure does. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. <laughs> I just noticed that she had her gunshot wound. <laughs> That's a great detail. I hadn't noticed that before myself. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, if you can spot details like that, hopefully you can read this uh, screen. What the... I absolutely can. <laughs> <laughs> My android looks dead. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I still hate rubber boots on Tumblr. Um, so, so those of you who, who aren't on Tumblr, like you two, uh, might not have seen this. I don't know if this was posted mm -hmm. anywhere else. Um, but yeah, I, I really, <laughs> really liked this one. Um, and also some of the other things. Uh, my android loves me. My android is an idiot. My android needs fixing. And my android looks my dead. It looks dead. <laughs> <laughs> you know he would Google that. Like, hey, I just want, I, so it's fine. I just, would, I just didn't know I needed to make sure that you were. <laughs> I'm uh, asking for asking for a friend. Asking for asking a friend. for uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a oh. lot of ones like this uh, by Jay Jenkinson Art on Instagram. A lot of cuddling. Uh, a lot of mm -hmm. uh, throwbacks. A little bit to the nightmare scene. But this was one of my favorites. I just like the illumination and the the posing and everything on this. Really, really beautiful and well done. Um, mm. I think this artist comes up a couple times in the showcase because they had a lot of really good stuff. Um, and there's a few folks who who you know did art you know like every single day, like 30, 31 pieces, and it was a real struggle to like only pick a, a couple of them, you know, a handful out of that group because I was mm. trying to like get a good diversity of um, of different submissions, but. Yeah, really good work by Jay Jenkins and Art. Mm -hmm. Do you think they reverse the spooning order any at any time? No. <laughs> no, that's a new that's a new reverse a new reverse AU. It's just this picture. <laughs> Gavin only dreams of ever being the big spoon. <laughs> Actually, I, maybe maybe it does happen oh, sometimes. I mean, literally the next photo. Literally, <laughs> kind of. From a certain point of view, from a certain point of view, they got the cats there too, you know. So cats on top too. The cats are like they're like, look, buddy, there's a pecking order to this bed. The All cats right. are the big spoon in this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is by Deviant Badger on Twitter, so be sure to check them out as well. There's a lot of awes and cats and kitties in the in the, in the chat right now. Kitty. <laughs> All right, day three, college AU, <laughs> aka the one Chris showed up for today. Uh, <laughs> this this is, I think, a recreation of a of a meme or a or like a like a vine or something. I don't know. I'm old, uh, <laughs> but still adorable. Uh, yeah, Gavin uh, with the smoothie uh, and Valerina. 
That is hilarious. Do you think this is how Gavin got his scar the first time with pulling this <laughs> this trick? And then like bow like elbows him in the back. Like Yeah, I mean, this would definitely get your nose broken at least once, right? Yeah, come on. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> I love also uh, that that Valerie's got this really cool like motorcycle jacket or like bomber jacket. It's it's mm-hmm. a really cool aesthetic with the belt to match. Uh-huh. And Gavin mm-hmm. is precariously carrying what seems to be an open cup of steaming hot coffee. <laughs> it's not <laughs> safe. Dude. So this also, he I also. Mean, no, I like I like kissing, but also like not enough to not drink a milkshake. You know what I mean? Like I don't. Know <laughs> yeah, <that>. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like he sees it like where what's that thought process is he goes like well i gotta get in there yeah how long have they been kissing that he has had time to do this <laughs> yes yes uh, well this is by inky tortoise on twitter uh one of the oh, most uh, uh mm. they're in here several times and one of the most diverse range of of style uh, that I was mm. able to see, um, lo- like a lot of different types of uh, work from Inky Tortoise. So look forward to seeing more of them. Ah, mm. uh, there you are, Chris Miller, Lone Lion 924. We're going to state We're on, on state. Instagram. <laughs> What's funny about this is that this is a phrase like, we're going to win state is a phrase that I use in like all sorts of different scenarios. <laughs> I, I, I am... <laughs> I'm notorious for yelling at my friends or just people I'm doing anything with of like, yeah, you know what? This is it. This is how you win state right here. This is it. We're going to win state, you guys. So this is perfect. Yeah. Lone Lion was another that did uh, every day, all all 31, I believe. So, uh, I mean, that's commitment. Like, and all of them were fantastic. So Lone Lion's so amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in the chat, oh, yeah. too. <laughs> Almost every yeah, day. Lion. Yeah, Lion. <laughs> Woo! All right, so we couldn't we couldn't have this. This is one of uh, Chris's picks, but it it obviously yeah. would have been mine too. Uh, we mm-hmm. love Daphna on Instagram. That's just amazing. Like every time I see Daphna's work come up, I just gasp. Uh, and Max, gasp. Maximilian has actually sent one of them to me, which will, will come up later. Uh, and and he doesn't typically we don't typically like send art to each other. It's kind of like we get tagged in things, we look the tags, we look at things, we share things in our stories. You know, we kind of assume mm-hmm. that like we all see things. But he sent one of them to me, and he was like, "I literally just gasped aloud <laughs> at this." Um, absolutely lovely. And also, I I love the details on College Gavin specifically, like tattoos piercings the Mm -hmm. the the side shave it's great i i it has made me genuinely consider getting a band across this song because i want more (laughs) tattoos in general and i saw this and i was like oh i look good with that huh all right all right and my makeup artist just sets herself on fire Uh also these (laughs) these ones particularly look just like they're like very very similar to me and maximilian i think there's a lot of other like designs that are like it's kind of like we're sort of like our sort of facial structure is sort of in there, but it's a little bit more abstract. This one, like, I feel a little bit like I'm looking at myself. I'm like, that's oh, Maximilian's right. face. I mean, that's just that's just a photo. That is Maximilian yeah. to a T. There's yeah. there's a few of them in here like that. There's one in particular which will be pretty obvious when it comes out, which actually wasn't made by Daphne. Um, but uh, it, it it's striking how much it is just you. Uh, mm. <laughs> This is another one of Chris's picks uh, from Mocha Bean on Instagram. Just really adorable. I, I love all the college stuff that really incorporated the four of you. The college um, stuff was really great. I like having gone through the de- like I I was going through the tags every like couple of days to be like I'll be looking at all of these. And the college stuff is always the stuff that like charmed me the most. <laughs> <sighs> is it like it like gives even though I know I didn't live this moment, it like gives me nostalgia for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> The next time we're all together, we'll have to take that exact photo. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I guess I'll be taking the photo. <laughs> no, I'm supposed to be holding. I think it's a selfie. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I won't be there. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I'm not needed at all. <laughs> um, so this is by Tan Renyanko, who who is fantastic as well. Um, I love this because Gina's saying, uh, sounds like you have a crush on your new lab partner. And the idea of them being lab partners is really cute to me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and especially because Tina would absolutely take the piss out of Gavin for just like pining over his classmate. 
Is Tan mm. Renyanko in the chat? I'm seeing mm. her being tagged. I also love the blushing through the hands. Uh, yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> oh, Astral Dawn says, oh my god, they were lab partners. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is another fic wreck. Um, and, and Michael, if you're interested in the whole college AU thing, I, I actually recommend this especially because this is a huge, huge theater subplot in it. <laughs> Um, they're basically all like theater students on top of it being a college AU. This is called No More Than Reason. It's by Bank Robbery. Uh, mm. It was updated. It's like five chapters. So it was updated over the course of like f seven to 10 days. And I remember anticipating every chapter. I was really, really looking forward to um, reading this every time a new chapter came out. This is a story about Gavin and Nines being childhood best friends who go off to college together. Um, Nines is ace, eight is in it, Tina and Valerie together. It's very true to the canon of Detroit Evolution, um, but they're all human. And uh, Gavin and Nines have basically been in love with each other their entire childhood, but neither of them know it. And mm -hmm. uh, Gavin's just like rotating through terrible dates and Nines is sitting quietly fuming and trying not to like admit that that kills him inside. <laughs> Um, and so it's a, a really great slow burn. It's really, really um, enjoyable to read. It's got great character development. It's a little long. It's like 46,000 words, but it flies. Um, and I, I'm really, really happy with, uh, with how this came out for Bank Robbery. It's, it's, it, when, when I was thinking in terms of like what fix do I want to recommend, this was the first one that came to mind because this is the one that I remember anticipating the most. Yeah, I, I just looked it up. Yeah, it's, you should read it. Legit. And, and there's a lot of, um, you know, other characters, all the Jerry Crews there, K Hank and Connor are there. So it's, it's definitely an ensemble uh, piece, I believe. All right. So uh, one of many Marchonia uh, uh, pieces from this month. This one I had to include because of Nipper Zippers. <laughs> <laughs> that shirt uh, comes up a couple times uh, in the show. Where is that <laughs> shirt now? Yeah, where is it? Austin has it. Yep. Austin has it. He's worn it a couple times. Um, I I don't know what became of it. I know that he it ended up in his possession, and I I, I don't know. Um, it's a little warm for uh, for for South Carolina. It's, it was a pretty thick like sweater, but yeah. So so thank you, uh, March, for this, uh, and also our our mod pillow. I believe was the one who came up with nipper zippers in the first place. So that has become just. You know, that's that's just what they're called now. <laughs> I like that they saw a live stream. Oh, there's all sorts of stuff in here. There's seven deadly since there's live stream. There's all, the other thing about March's work. Every single one of them had a hidden Iggy. And some of them are really, really cute, as we'll see later. But there's this one, uh, the poster here with these rocks. I was convinced that this was like a recreation of like the Inception poster, Last of Us poster, uh, Star Trek Into Darkness, Dunkirk. Like I was, I was convinced that was something. And March was like, "No, it's it's just rocks." Uh <laughs> rocks. The poster right behind him is your book. Yeah, that's Paradisa right there. Yeah, you got okay. Pan, that's Chuck Truce uh, up here yeah. with your hidden Iggy. So, lots of stuff. That's cool. So this is this has to be contextualized. This is from Mara Fook on Instagram. Uh, this is a whole comic, so go check this out on Instagram to see everything that happens. But it's basically Lotso sneaks into the biology lab and finds an octopus in a jar and steals it, but then it says boo. <laughs> 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 because it's, it's, it's my octopus. It's my Octoshan. So, it's alive! It's alive! <laughs> um, I love all of Maro's comics, and, and this is no exception. So yeah, go go check out that on Instagram. There are a few of these uh, throughout the showcase where I, I kind of took like one still from a comic because I couldn't show all of it. Um, but that just encourages you to go check out all of these artists and see all of their work. Because honestly, like I said, so many of them did like 30 to 31 days of work or even just like 10 or 15 days of work. And I couldn't include all of it. So go check out all of their Amazing. portfolios. Mm. Uh, as far as being charmed, Michael, I'm sure this was one that definitely made you smile by she on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I really liked this one. Um, also, like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's great. <laughs> it's great. I love it. I think it's interesting that uh, Nines is a Slytherin in this, oh, yes. uh, in the, and, and Gavin is the Gryffindor. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think. I think what were you saying? Go. No, I, was, I just gonna. I think that's actually come up in a couple of me and Maximilian's live streams together. Is that he's a Slytherin and I'm a Gryffindor? So like, mm-hmm. that's what I see him now. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, and I I get that. I don't know that. I don't know that I think Nines is a Slytherin, but definitely I know Maximilian is. Uh, mm-hmm. Like I I'm a Slytherin, but mm-hmm. I definitely think Chris Miller is a Hufflepuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I definitely don't think, like, yeah, Chris Miller's house is correct in this. My <laughs> personal house would not be uh, helpful about it. I love the idea that Tina is the Ravenclaw as well, because Tina is definitely, like, the one who solves things and uh, and keeps them on track, for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think Nines himself would be in a Ravenclaw. Yeah, I see that Ooh, as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think our group is, is a Gryffindor, two Ravenclaws, and a Hufflepuff. <laughs> because I think I think Rave- every Ravenclaw has a Zen garden. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah probably. Probably. <laughs> On to uh, the proposal Whoa. day. Ah, someone drew hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a lot of hands in this. Uh, hands. In. There it goes in the chat. <laughs> oh my God, they're screaming. <laughs> Just, just, I, I think I'm finally going to get up to my uh, 200 uh, messages at once, just from, from all of the people just yelling, hands, yelling hands. Right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. hands Every single person. Um, yeah, so of course I'd include this one. This is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I guess it implies that uh, Nines is the one who proposed, which is mm-hmm. uh, which is uh, different from the majority. So that's really sweet as well. This is from mm-hmm. Dan Ranyanko on Instagram as well. Um, just fantastic command of lighting and everything. I- he got a wedding ring that has an LED in it. I don't want a mm-hmm. wedding ring. That has- <laughs> That's going all out for you, fella. Like my, my wedding ring's fine, but now I want one with an LED in it. I want one with the gloves. <laughs> yeah. This is by Inep Fuction. <laughs> Inep Fuction? Something to that effect? On Twitter. Uh, I really love the um, medium here uh mm. i think this is the only time i've seen like white pencil on black background i don't know if this is hand done or if this is digital but it's really really cool um and it's it, the idea is that they have vials of each other's blood mm. i also like i feel like this is <laughs> would have been an interesting way if one of them were like in college and like they did this on a blackboard <laughs> for like one of them like come in and like this is just like there done in chalk. I was thinking it too. I was like, wow, if this was like a like if someone did this on like a sidewalk or on like a blackboard. You like it would be that's really cool. Yeah. Oh, it's it's very pretty. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> so so context. Uh, in terms of somebody who did something for every day. Uh, Gamer Gal Ohm, uh, Holly's contribution to Art Fest was doing a different meme every day. And wow. there's a few of them throughout. Uh, these are some of my favorites, and, and this was definitely one of my favorites. Uh, and I was <laughs> proposing to Kevin. Uh, when, he's not a rac- when he's not a rat, he's a raccoon. I love that. <laughs> oh my god. It's everything about this works for me. <laughs> I don't know why this picture exists. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, I kind of wonder, like, why, where did this picture come from in the first one? I don't know. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> You've made me the happiest raccoon, <laughs> the happiest raccoon alive. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's face. Uh. It's that, that raccoon is having so many feelings. <laughs> Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Well, our our first official death of the stream. Oh my god! What I think about this photo. (laughs) 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 No, I'm just laughing at Michael, just falling apart. Oh. Okay. Oh mm. man, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you with us? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
On to this one uh, by <laughs> Skeddy Biscuit. I believe this was also connected to a fic mm-hmm. by Kay Miller uh, about a Christmas proposal for Read 900, um, which we've we've thrown around oh. in the past, and it might happen at Christmas. Um, <laughs> the disparity between their sweaters. Uh, <laughs> mm. Mm. I also enjoy Gavin's subtle mullet. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's quarantine, I suppose. Maybe it's, mm. maybe it's still 2020. It's oh, yeah. 2020 AU. <laughs> CM Holden says, lots of dressed him. Which, you know, <laughs> maybe. He may have. Mm. Speaking of lots of, uh, what if he just bought that arm to uh, to propose? Uh, <laughs> this is by Mentart on Tumblr. This is really, really sweet. I, I love everything that has to do with lots of stupid arm. <laughs> <Just> so... <laughs> the single weirdest proposal you could do. Who's he proposing to? You, the viewer. The viewer. <laughs> this is me, personally. <laughs> That's like such, an, such a huge ring. I think it's a ring yeah. pop. I think it is too. Oh my god! Would this be a ring pop? It would. It would be. All right. See this. All right, my answer is yes. See, yes. see this is this <laughs> is his totally real girlfriend who definitely goes to another school. Definitely. Um, <laughs> oh my god. And and she took this picture, of course. Oh, she did. <laughs> All right, another fanfic wreck. Uh, there were a few proposal fix that came out uh, for a variety of different pairings. There was some Valerina, there was some Ada North, and there was some Reed 900. Uh, this one, I really just, it just struck me. It's called The Real Thing. It's by 2022, who did several fix this month. Um, this just, like, the speeches are what got me. Like, the, the proposal speech really, really got me. Mm. It was so, so, so in character for our guys and um I, I just this this one just really hit me um especially hard so it is a one shot so anybody wants to check this out it's like a thousand words so it's very a very quick read and it's it's just really sweet it'll uplift your spirits if you're feeling down although it might make you cry happy tears if you're mm. in the for that too <laughs> I, so this, uh, this comic is actually a little longer than this, but this is the main part of it by Einreel on Tumblr. Uh, what if uh, Nines proposed to Gavin by putting the ring in his coffee? <laughs> <laughs> I think I saw a couple people approach this concept, but, uh, but this one, uh, is the one that I, that I came across yesterday and, uh, I just love how confused he looks. <laughs> I also, I like how this is the universe where Gavin didn't choke on the ring. <laughs> <laughs> It's a choking hazard. I always think about that when people are like, he put this ring in my champagne. I'm like, he's trying to kill you. Like, it's a choking hazard. And this is coffee. Like, you can't see through it. You can't see through it. It's scalding hot. Like, oh, yeah, now you're going to get scalding hot metal yeah. as well. It's like, oh, my God. Yeah, Ninth might not have thought this through. <laughs> I also love how you'll see you'd see in the the larger comic, uh, it includes Ninth actually bringing the coffee to him, but then walking away. <laughs> and so, so yeah, because so he's I, trying to kill him. I, I, yeah, I also I also do love that he doesn't stick around to see what Gavin thinks of this. He's just like, oh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave this for him to find, and he'll be fine. There's a hidden Iggy here. There is a hidden Iggy here. Is that what they say Ooh. in the chat? Oh. No, I just said there is one. Look. Uh, it's got to be Keep somewhere. Going. Keep going. You must have a bigger screen left. than I do. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here he is. Yeah. Peeking out, peeking out from the from the screen. Yeah. Also, that is now a ruined computer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is a ruined plastic rectangle. So Western AU, uh, this, oh, yeah. dude, we got so many cool entries for this. I covered a lot of them in a previous fan art of the week, uh, but I still had a lot left over to get through. Um, this was one of the most just innovative and cool uh, days. And this is from I Am A Deviant on Instagram, entertaining a super badass Western Ada. That's pretty dope. I can, like we call that. It, can we call it Ada Get Your Gun? Oh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your Huckleberry. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh my so, God. Dolly Omega on Twitter. Um, what is there? Really this is the PG rate. This is the PG version of this picture. Yeah. What What is there really to be said? Um, <laughs> 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 
Oh, uh, a casual says too. Dolly knows what's up. Oh my god, I just noticed the heels. I didn't notice the heels before. That's fantastic. <laughs> and that that cast definition through the assless chaps. <laughs> that is like. Mm. Mm. <laughs> It's going down. That tumbleweed yeah, is, is going crazy. down for real. <laughs> <laughs> this from Gray Nishi Ooh. on Twitter. Um, I just really like this. This is just like really colorful and really captures y'all really well. Um, mm -hmm. Just really cool composition and it's just pretty. Like I, I just enjoy looking at this. <laughs> like the LED on the pistol. Oh yeah. 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 That's a really cool touch. Also, like, I think it's also kind of funny that, like, you know, like, in the West, you're out under the beating sun, 100 degree heat, and you're going to wear basically a, a scarf. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I've never understood bandanas. <laughs> and, well, they're, they're, to, they're to mop up sweat or okay. cover your face if you're, like, if there's, like, a lot of dust and stuff. Oh, I get it. I get it now. Okay, I see the advantage. I see the yeah. advantage. But also, too, like, you know, if you're going to go rob a bank. Oh, true. That's right. There's banks in the Old West to be right. <laughs> <laughs> only in the Old West. Remember banks? Yeah, they used to they used to be there all the time. Banks yeah, but, and trains. Yeah, banks and trains. But then everybody started robbing them, and so they don't really do them anymore. Yeah. Don't have you ever seen that, that um, Michael? <laughs> have you ever seen that documentary, uh, American Outlaw? <laughs> with with no. Colin Farrell? No. It's not a documentary. It's a ridiculous <laughs> historical epic where he's just like a bank. It, it, he's I can't remember. He's playing like one of the James. It, I think it's the James Gang or something. It's a ridiculous Western movie. Oh, it's a lot of fun. You should check it out. Yes, awesome. <laughs> this is super super cool by Sigurd Things mm. K on Twitter of Wild West Tina and Ada. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I just love, I love seeing the ladies look so, so awesome. I'm getting a lot of oh dams in the chat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is giving me Deadwood vibes. Yeah, yeah. that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Calamity Jane vibes, and I dig it. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, there was a lot of, there was some Westworld stuff that came from this day. Um, there was a lot of, like, yeah, interpretations of, like, adaptations of different westerns and stuff, uh, coupled with some more original things. One of the cool things I like about all these AU prompts that all the artists did was the costume design. Because they were coming up with these costume designs from scratch, which is really innovative. Yeah. Mm. Ah, one of the saddest days, amnesia. Uh, this Whoa. is by Intentional Digital, uh, imagining all the memories that are going to be deleted from Nines when he's reset. We saw a lot of Nines getting reset in fanfics and art, but there was some Gavin amnesia fix as well. I think there was some North and Ada amnesia fix, and I think there was even one with like Tina as well. Um, so yeah, this is this is sad. <laughs> this reminds me of a panel from. Um... There's a there's a Spider-Man comic. Uh, uh, what's it called? Anyway, it's the one where MJ it's to save Aunt May's life. Peter trades with like the devil. To get <laughs> okay. It, it is. It's like Mephisto. <laughs> he like he trade the deal he makes is I will like I'll save Aunt May, but you will lose he and MJ's relationship. So it was like a theme uh, of their like marriage and like their entire life together, everything up to that point being like a race. And this reminds mm. me of that. And then the next comic, Peter Parker gets Tinder and everything works out. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine. <laughs> it, 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 it. <laughs> Although I do, I do think that since that comic, since that story arc ran in the comics, Peter and MJ have not been together. Well, damn. Oh, right. yeah, I, don't, I don't think they've been together since that. Joy Winchester says, ah, yes, the comic that everyone hated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Everyone was furious about it. <laughs> there are quite Peter a few Parker. people in the chat who've heard of this comic, apparently. I can't. What is it called? Somebody in the chat remind me what it's called. It's like one more, one day more, or one last time, something like that. I can't remember what it is. I cannot remember what it's called. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's going to bug Well, me. you have amnesia have for it. That's fitting. I'm, I've got amnesia for it. Someone <laughs> All right. For this is Maka Bean on Instagram. This was a few different panels as well. Uh, but So go check that out on Instagram. But this is one where uh, I believe it's in the film. 
Gavin is giving his coma speech, but Nines wakes up and then doesn't remember him because he's been fully reset. Uh, there was a few different fix and art that imagined that in movie that what if Nines woke up and actually was reset and didn't imagine or didn't remember anything about Gavin or mm-hmm. was uh, or had his memories, but was no longer deviant. A couple different uh, interpretations of that all very sad. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that like sort of like cold disassociated state, that look of like, who are you mm-hmm. <laughs> in Nines' face? Mm. Sweet Insanity Arts says, it would be interesting, though, if they rebuilt their relationship after that. Uh, There was a fic, I think it was called Amnesia. The Dark Descent. Uh, Well, 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 (laughs) (laughs) yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Uh, No, Machine for Pigs. One more day. Uh, (laughs) Um, Spider-Man Orcs called one more day. Somebody said in the chat. Thank you. There, one more day. There, one was, more day. A, there was a fic that had Nines, yeah, forget his memories um of the of the previous year i think and um but he but he was still deviant so it was the reverse he lost all of his memories but he was still deviant and it was about them rebuilding their relationship and it was actually it had a nice ending it was really sweet so you can check that out in the d art fest amnesia tag on ao3 and find that somewhere as far as other fix uh, that are a little less angsty uh, that are that are amnesia fix, I remember is a lot so amnesia fix by You Will Be Found. Um, I found this very charming. This is a fic where Lotso gets bumped on the head and gets a little bit of temporary amnesia, and Gavin and Nines take him home and like take care of him for like a couple days before <laughs> his girlfriend comes and collects him. Uh, That's so great. It's just really cute. Uh, you know, Lotso gets to meet the cat. You know, it's, and and and, yes. and it's and it's kind of domestic. It's kind of like okay, so we've got this kid that we're taking care of. Uh, what are we gonna do mm-hmm. about this? <laughs> oh, did you hit your head? Okay, come, come lay down. Come lay down. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> pet the kitty. Stay and pet the kitty. It's, it's funny that fun. you say that, Chris, because one of the things in that fic was actually like Gavin kind of treating Lotso as if he was a pet, <laughs> and, and and Nines being like he's a He's a person. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a human. He's, human he's, being. he's, he's yeah. not. A, he's not a cat. <laughs> yeah. You can't keep him. That's just. <laughs> that's this conversation that's happening here. He's just like I just put a, put a bowl of water out for him, right? You know? That's all. That's all. <laughs> right yeah, that's, it. that's it. I put a bowl of Starbucks out for him. What do you want? <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> Uh, this is a oh. hand-drawn uh, traditional wow. art by Ina Felkuchen. I'm going to struggle with that one every time. Uh, on Instagram, this is actually two-parter. There's a, one with uh, Zen Gavin as well uh, as part of this, so check that out on Instagram. As Amnesia of the Garden Growing in the Mind. Really, really yeah. cool. That's all, like Anybody ever seen a Scanner Darkly? <laughs> Glad yeah, like the end of that film where he's in the fields growing the flowers mm-hmm. and he's no idea who he is anymore. I'm getting tons of vibes from that. That's fantastic. Ooh, good pull. I love that. Yeah. Oh, and thank you, Super Silly Pants, for the gift sub. Oh, actually, gift subs. Five gift subs. Thank you. Oh, shit. Super Silly Pants. Super Silly Pants is a legend. You're a legend, Super Silly Pants. <laughs> A lot of great work from oh. Coldiscar this month, yeah. uh, and this one was one of my favorites, uh, the Amnesia one, where Zen Gavin doesn't remember nines. Um, one of my favorite things about this, and, and kind of all of the Zen Gavin uh, art had this, nines actually calls him Zenvin, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> which has transcended the uh, the fanon name for him and actually gotten into the actual dialogue of the characters, which is cute. Mm-hmm. I love this. This is also like the more I see Zenvin, the more I want to see a scene where Gavin meets Zenvin or like like Nines has to take Gavin into his own head for some reason. And Gavin gets there and he's like, what the fuck is this? He's like, who the fuck is this? There's, <laughs> there's a story that... Uh, Gavin, are you jealous of you? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, uh, there there is a story about that. It's still in progress, um, but it was, it's it's really really good. It it, it doesn't have necessarily a uh, explanation as to why it happens yet, but it it's basically like every time Gavin goes to sleep, he ends up in Nine Zen Garden and meets in Gavin. And oh, yes, he, he definitely has like the insecurity in that story of like, oh crap. I think it's yeah, it's M who wrote that story, right? Yeah, M is saying thanks, guys. Because mm, what's, yeah. what's the name of that fic, M? Because I really like it, and I'm really waiting for an update on it. I mean, I don't, I shouldn't pressure you, but like, I've, I've really liked it, and I kind of want to 
continue. Shouldn't pressure you, but also who's a little bit of pressure? Pressure, like not to pressure you, but like don't George R. R. Martin this. It, it, it's you know called. I mean? it's like, called yeah. It's called, Famously, like, he's in jail now for not finishing that book. So, <laughs> oh, come on. It, it is called When Gavin Met Gavin. So, yeah, oh. check that out on AO3. <laughs> More amnesia from Hunt O Art on Instagram. Um, another one where Nines wakes up and doesn't remember Gavin, uh, but this one in a different style and more of a kind of like comic book style, which is pretty mm. dope. Huntress Ordinary is the full name of that artist. Mm. Mm. Oh, and I liked the video game choices they had. They had in that oh, yeah. bottom right corner of yeah. like choice. And you, yeah, and that 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 error, that error on that top choice. I'm a big fan of that. Yeah, you haven't unlocked that top choice yet. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one from Alice Tulula, another person who did it pretty much damn near every day. Um, this one, uh, funny enough about the time travel prompt, which is what we're getting into now. Uh, basically, all of these are Doctor Who. <laughs> Um, but there were a few that uh, were not Doctor Who that got highlighted on a previous fan art of the week. There was a really good Back to the Future one that I really liked and highlighted. I was about to say, you know, when time travel comes up, people default to Doctor Who and like, yeah, timey, wimey, <laughs> whatever. But also there's other good time travel stuff out there. There's Back to the Future. Uh, can I get some love for, for uh, um, uh, Primer? Yeah, I mean, Bill and Ted even, like, what do we do? There's other good time travel stuff besides Doctor Who. Mm -hmm. It's the default for time travel stuff now. I'm like, I don't know. Let's just get I do love the idea of Gavin and Nines being the Doctor and the Companion. Oh, listen, this is very cute. Like, this is all, <laughs> no, one's saying that, no one's saying that Doctor Who time travel stuff isn't great. We're just saying spread the love. There's other time travel stuff out there. Bill and Ted <laughs> just waiting in the corner like, when's it going to be our time, dude? What happened to us? <laughs> <laughs> phone booth? <laughs> Fun fact about this one, uh, both characters played by David Tennant. Both characters That's played true. by David both Tennant. Both characters David Tennant. <laughs> He's just that good. Uh, what if you were the doctor, Michael? By listen, Orphud on Instagram. Listen, though. Listen, though. I see people in the chat being like, if Michael said he doesn't want Doctor Who stuff, listen, I love Doctor Who stuff. I want Doctor Who stuff. <laughs> I definitely should get to play the doctor. What are we doing? <laughs> this is great. This is really cool. And you get to be the doctor again with Ada Ooh! as your companion by Six Girl on this. Instagram. I do love this. This is really cute. Can yeah, I point uh, out that you have your Letterman jacket as a trench? I saw that and kind of want one. <laughs> <laughs> like, who do I talk to about a mm. trench Letterman jacket? Because I'm kind of here for it. And like, nobody else is going to have that either. Like, that's not yeah. a, that's not a, thing you gotta be you gotta be michael smallwood to have that to have a trench letterman's jacket yeah to figure out how to do that now i gotta hang on let me text gabby gabby will figure <laughs> it out and the converse as well yeah i mean because you gotta you gotta rock some con i actually need a new pair of converses okay let me text gabby about making this jacket and then are I you legitimate to... right now <laughs> yeah, hang on wait I'm gonna, hang on i'm gonna text my friend i'm gonna text my friend gabby who makes all my cosplays and be like, hey, can we make a Letterman's Jack get trench coat? <laughs> In the meantime, uh, another uh, time travel by Inky Tortoise. Um, I think, I, I'm not sure, I guess it's uh, MCU? That's the Tesseract, yeah, for sure. And that's like Nick Fury, Chris Miller, I think. Coming from the future. Um, or is he supposed to be Bishop? Oh yeah, actually, maybe he's oh, he maybe, yeah, yeah, Cable. Look, a scar. He's Bishop. Yeah. I'm Bishop. Oh okay. Oh there it is. Yep. So yeah. this this is crossing the MCU with X Men movies. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I also I'm a fan of the nubs for hands. Just yeah. very cute. <laughs> I love that too. <laughs> Easy way to get an ooh woo out of me. Nubs for hands. <laughs> I love the ending. Uh, we gotta stop going to lots of yard sales. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I like the idea that Lotso is what's going to cause a mutant apocalypse in the future. <laughs> like, his boa is the Tesseract. Oh, yeah, yeah. Half-Life 3 confirmed. Uh. <laughs> One sec. I have to take this phone call. I'll be right back. Pardon. All right. All right. In the meantime, Michael, maybe we can watch a video. <gasps> Ooh, I love videos. So let's see what we've got up. I like Harry Potter. Like, I love magic. Like, what? So this one is from Amnesia Day. Um, 
This is called Bombs on Monday. It's an animation, which is really, really good. Um, I love it. I do love animation. So let's 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 get ready to check this out. Is that loud enough for you? I can hear it, but I can't see it. You can't see it? Oh, got it, got it. Because uh, I I need to change our screen capture settings. I'm gonna change it for a sec. Got to share this screen instead. Okay. In the meantime, I'm gonna ramp a dance. There you go. Up. There you go. Now you can see it. Right okay, up there, I can't see it. Yes, absolutely. Pinky promise I'll still love your garden, even with no flowers, even with no flowers. Doctor's order, don't be broken hearted. Time will still be ours. Time will still be. Uh, I, I'm not sharing the audio, am I? I can hear it. You can hear it? Yeah. Can you guys not hear it on the chat? Hmm? Yeah, they can hear it. Oh, somebody was saying share desktop audio. I was like, yeah, okay. Thanks, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely hear it. Doctors order, don't be broken hearted. Time will still be ours. Time will still be ours. Never thought that something, something so tragic could ever happen to our peaceful little perfect family. Bombs are falling Monday morning, waiting for the news. Together, an explosion. Any moment, you make moments last forever. Eyes like hazel. Ouch. <laughs> really, really well done by Al Freedom. AI, mm. AI freedom on YouTube. Mm. Uh, go to YouTube and give this some love because, I mean, animation is rough, y'all. Mm. Oh, it says AI freedom right here. I could have looked. Uh, <laughs> yes, I did enjoy that AI freedom, although now I'm in pain. So let's get I, back to stuff that's... I, oh, is that an original shit. song? Hmm? Is that an original song? I don't believe it's an original song. I, I feel like I know that voice, like the singer. I, I can't place um, it. It is Bombs on Fire by... Oh, okay. Melanie Martinez. I did know that voice. Melanie okay, Martinez. cool. Oh, the cover. The cover. The oh, it's cover. a cover. Oh, shit. Never mind. Psych. I don't know that voice. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Uh, it was made using Melanie's official unreleased audio when trying to upload it. YouTube kept blocking it. Okay, so yeah, this is a cover. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay, cool. But it's beautiful cool. regardless. Okay, switching back to... Yeah, I mean, to... gorgeous. Gorgeous animation. I love that. Mm -hmm. Switching back to the slides, wherever they are, there they are. Okay. Yeah, you want to select the um, electric slide? <laughs> <laughs> Half of these are Android related, so that's it by default. Oh, no, <gasps> the electric oh. slide is the Android dance of choice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Actually, yes. actually, actually, dancing is now the uh, prompt we're getting into. So look at this. Look at that segue. Love it. <laughs> Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, all right, so this is by Jay was a blind pirate who did so many good things this month. It was very difficult to choose just a couple. Um, but this is from Tumblr, and uh, this is Ada with the ribbon dancing. Um, God, like, just stunning. Um, all day. Oh, yeah, all day. I love this. I hadn't seen this. It was, it was on Tumblr. But it's, uh, oh, man, I love that. It's, it's like, it's really cool because I think this not only, like, like has a very like emotive feel all in a, of its own but i think like dancing and like and ribbons specifically as an expression of emotion like is very interesting to experience like live and having seen and knowing people who practice this medium like it's really cool to see them like capture like capturing what i feel like the actual art form evokes on top of yeah. it being within its own medium really mm -hmm. fucking cool mm -hmm. agreed and also her uh, her skin retracting in different places. It's really, really awesome. It's like, it, there's layers. She's got layers. <laughs> Ogres have layers. You get it. <laughs> um, so this is uh, by JJ. It's an art on Instagram. <laughs> okay, so Anastasia is like one of my favorite animated movies. <laughs> so I about 
died when I saw this. They, they actually did a couple of these. I believe that they did an Anastasia um, one for Crossover Day as well. Um, so there was a couple pieces like this. Um, seriously, Anastasia and Dimitri is like my very first in my life enemies to lovers ship. So like if it wasn't for Anastasia and Dimitri, like I don't know if I would be here like making Read 900 shit today. So yeah, I, I absolutely adore this. If you get a chance, you should see the um, the the musical, like the stage musical. Oh my god! Mm. Yeah, yeah. Because I've always wanted like a sequel, even though that makes no goddamn sense. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> because I've always just wanted more of those characters. The, the right. stage musical is fairly well done. Um, some of the songs in it are gorgeous. You should check it out. <laughs> Alfred says Anastasia is the reason we have Detroit Evolution confirmed. Yeah, this gets this this one gets the uh, Michelle and Antoine childhood <laughs> memory nostalgia award. <laughs> yes, now they just have to do Prince of Egypt, and then they'll they'll have the whole set. <laughs> Ooh, I love me some Prince of Egypt though. I'm all about that. That, anybody... that score, oh, one of the yeah. best in the '90s. Uh, yeah. If anyone wants to do a, a a live action remake of Prince of Egypt, I am here to play the pharaoh let's do it <laughs> i don't know why they don't just do that instead of keep trying to remake the ten commandments like just uh, remake I'm prince here. of egypt <laughs> I'm, here for I'm, I'm 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 ready i've been ready to play <laughs> ramses so let's do it um this is art by a visual gamer girl on instagram some ada north dancing there's a few ada north pieces throughout ada north really took off this month uh which i'm really really happy about i know joe is really happy about it as well in both fanfic and art which is really really nice to see um, so, so Ada got a girlfriend and, and they, 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 and actually, Chris, I guess now you have some context as to who North is. Cause I, I do, I do indeed. Yeah. Yes, you do. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> this is by Mimi Barra on Instagram. Uh, dancing with the stars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. And it's Zinvin as well, so you gotta just imagine they just practiced at some point in the Zen Garden. It's cute. Mm -hmm. Ugh, if this is his Zen Garden practicing, the disappointment <laughs> when he tries this in real life. Oh, wow. <laughs> Palpable. <laughs> I think Nines in his Zen Garden is also a better dancer than he actually is in real life, too. Oh, okay. yeah. So this is just all fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this one by Arden Knight on Instagram as we get into the Mermaid AU day. Um, one of one of y'all's favorite days, I believe, uh, in the chat because Mermaid AUs are very, very, very popular. Um, and I, I, and to be honest, I never really got got them until uh, until this day, until I saw the beautiful art and uh, and some really creative stuff. I think this one is a little inspired by the Little Mermaid, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, part of that world is this purple rebel, yeah. And uh, mm. and the cat as well, just sitting on the shore. <laughs> mm. uh, it's just like I just think it's <laughs> it's one of those things that just like puts you in its own world, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, oh, I want to watch this movie. <laughs> like <laughs> I want to be here. So are, we, are they going to have to bankroll a full, uh, you know, mermaid AU that we got to make? <laughs> All right, so this is by Cadmium oh, Celiac on Instagram and Ada. This is just, this is beautiful. Them just... watercolors, though. Yeah. Them, uh, wow. I got to send this one to Danielle. Danielle's going to, the queen's going to flip her freaking lid when she sees this one. I like this one. It, it's evoking for me, um, it's like the Hook mermaids. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Like, like the mermaids from Hook. Like, oh. Like, yeah. Yes. That's the vibe I'm getting out of this one. Just yeah, like, I'm I'm pulling this one up right now and sending it to <laughs> Queen. Yeah, Cad Cadmium Celiac on Instagram. Also, I highlighted a piece of theirs that you might like, uh, Michael, which was uh, Chris Miller putting taking care of Damien when he was sick. Um, that was also by Cadmium Celiac, and, and they did oh, a lot okay. of work this month. <laughs> this is by Rocky <laughs> Art 18. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've seen this one in the tag and thought this was very adorable. And I think it's fun that they shifted, at least that's what I, this is what I think it looks like. They shifted the uh, sharks, like what is usually this like sort of downward grin. It looks like it's up here now, like all at the top of his snout. Like he's got this tiny little smirk <laughs> at the top of his snout. Oh, I love that. And also, I love that he's in the mug, but also drinking from the mug. <laughs> yeah, from the mug. That's meta. <laughs> 
Uh, hey, so dog, I heard you like mugs. So, <laughs> yeah. mug. Mugs and shirts, <laughs> we mug. got everything. <laughs> mugs on mugs on mugs. <laughs> mugs on mugs on mugs. You are the C, Michael, oh. this by EKM on Instagram. That's fucking wild. <laughs> I am the C. <laughs> yes. Ah! <laughs> there was another piece of, I believe, Gavin and Nines that went with this as well. Uh, so yeah, there was. On Instagram to see the full set of this It's mermaid. really cool. It's really cool, yeah. Because I think uh, it was like a full-on Little Mermaid AU that they, they did. So you were... Mm. You were Presumably, this is moments before driving this boat into my chest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's awesome. <laughs> So getting into sick fic day. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. This one gets me uh, Gamer Gallum uh, again with the memes for our prompts. Uh, this one especially from our table read videos. Um, just exclaiming, where's Gavin? <laughs> as soon as you wake up. Oh, wow. So, uh... Yeah, this this one just I have no words. Uh, uh only <laughs> laughter. Big fan. <laughs> um also is sick fic. A lot of a lot of of course Gavin getting sick nines taking care of him. Um the spy CHXI2 on Instagram. There were some where uh where nines got a little bit of a virus and Gavin took him as well though. And uh there was one where uh, Lotso gets taken care of by his girlfriends. So there's there's some variety in here. Um mm -hmm. oh and thank you Pillow mm -hmm. Bro for cheering. Mm. <laughs> this one by Al Wolf or AI Wolfie on Instagram. Uh, totally not medicine. Refuses to believe he's sick. Mood. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "Why does so this coffee taste like Robitussin?" <laughs> and then immediately passes out. Yeah. Oh, you got me. For all human AU, mm. this is by JXC Bean on Instagram. Uh, it's interesting when the all human AU, that was kind of ground covered in some other prompts, like, you know, college AU tends to be all human. Uh, the funny thing about the interpretation of most all human AUs is just androids can drink and smoke now. <laughs> yes, we can yes. give them vices. Yes. Make them really human. <laughs> give them vices. Yeah, man, a carton and a bottle. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Holly, our, our mm. meme maker, for subscribing with Prime. I also like how both of these guys, I love how both Gavin and Nines in this picture look like they're two hard-boiled detectives who are one day away from retirement. <laughs> yep. Now, getting into 5 plus 1 day, this art mm. by Jessica on Instagram. Um, 5 plus 1 was one that uh, is typically a fanfic trope. It's typically five things that happened and one thing that didn't, or five mm. things that didn't happen and one thing that did. Um, okay. But it can be adapted through art as well. And in this case, it was five times Gavin was alone and one time he wasn't. Oh, so, yeah, that's really sweet. Okay. And and, it, and it's a hard prompt to adapt oh. um, visually, especially in one frame. There were a lot of people who did like multiple like comics that had multiple um, pieces as part of it. So uh, go check out the tag to see all of those. I couldn't. It was too difficult to kind of feature them here today. Um, but this one all in one. And for those who don't know what five plus one is, um, this one by Astral John probably won't help you. <laughs> This, uh, I remember when this one came out. This I remember this me the one fuck too. Up. <laughs> <laughs> like the idea that he, what he legit drew was not. <laughs> yep. Just like, Why would you think that? <laughs> it's so good. It's I love so it. good. Oh, and it's so I funny. I love it. I though. just like. And like, and the and the expression in the characters' faces too is really also what sells it. It's just so, so funny. And I also think Gavin's pose when he's up at the um, the the chalkboard is a little bit like Velociraptor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, big fan. Uh, Coffee Shop AU is really popular and is also very popular in fanfic. Um, just, you, you know you've made it when somebody makes a Coffee Shop AU of your property. <laughs> um, this one's a Valerina by Dat Art Person on Instagram. Mm. Best But First Coffee is the name of their shop. Mm. That's good. 
This one was one of your picks, Chris, from You Emotional on Tumblr. I believe they also are JXSE being on, on Instagram. I think that's the same person. Um, yeah, I guess uh, Human Nines being uh, being given a wink. <laughs> and a phone number. I like it because it's also like he's like he's pulling this badass moment. And having been somebody who's worked as a bartender, like that moment where you do like ask someone out <laughs> like when you're like like giving them their drink or doing this thing and you like you like maybe like slide them your number or you just like maybe like put this number like oh also uh here's my here's, like it's just like it's this confidence that i don't think i've ever really imagined gavin necessarily having towards nines and in this one even if it's just for this moment like he probably pumped himself up super hard but the execution <laughs> was perfect he's like i'm gonna yeah. go over there and be a really cool total badass I'm put a heart in his fucking foam and his coffee. I'm gonna wink at him and I'll walk away. Yeah. Because <laughs> if I say anything, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And if he rejects me, I'll just quit. Uh... <laughs> well, this is my last day. <laughs> my last day. Yeah. Nothing to lose. <laughs> I've never asked anybody out as a server, but I had been asked out a few times as a server by customers, mm -hmm. and it was always very weird. <laughs> It was just like, I'm just trying to work. Go away. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I feel like men are, men typically are creepier about how they ask out women while they're working. Yeah. I had one, like, call in, like, to place a fake order and then, like, was like, oh, I don't actually need five potatoes, but I want your number. And I was like, I have a boyfriend. Like, just, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Even if you didn't, that would be a terrible way of asking. <laughs> I don't understand. Dude, oh my god. I once had I once had this woman who was one of the last customers I'd had. It's like four in the morning, her and her friends leave, and then it's like half an hour into closing. I'm still at the bar and somebody calls the bar and I was like, Hey, supply house, thanks. And I almost never picked these phone calls up and she was like, She's like, Oh yeah, actually uh, you want to go out? I was like, uh, and I'm getting asked out at 4.30 in the morning by somebody who just left and like didn't leave their number, but called, oh, <laughs> called God. the restaurant. Um, this is by Om45 Pastel. Uh, we love Om. Lots and mm -hmm. lots and lots of stuff that they made this month. Um, I also love Tina and, and Chris's uh, expressions at the bottom. And um, it's amazing that coffee only costs $2.75 in 2040. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, they're back. They're back around. Everything's going in a circle. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just so wholesome. It's so nice. <laughs> uh, this prompt was enemies oh. to lovers, and uh, the way that these oh. artists interpreted that prompt is this was one of the most interesting prompts, as you'll see, of the d the way that they divided these two concepts into like one frame. Um, this is by Inky Tortoise. Again, I said, big range of things that Inky Tortoise can do, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and this was inspired by, um, there. there is a, like a traditional art style that this is inspired by, and I don't know the name of it. It's kind of tarot card-ish a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so very, very beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is mind-blowing, the she -Ra. yes. It's fantastic. I love it. Um, this one's by uh, Just Some oh. Numbers, uh, but I think I think their name is Jack. Ooh! Yeah. Shit, oh, yeah. Dope. Yeah, I'm a fan. Whoa! I like that a lot. Yeah, dude. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> These are good. Damn. Wow. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me check the chat. Yeah, Jax. Yeah, Jax is the name of this, uh, uh -huh. this artist. Um, and I do believe this is by hand, um, which is already impressive um, that they captured your likenesses so amazingly in just pencil or charcoal. Um, and just yeah, and yeah. just like the like all of the like you know on the top thing they're like farther apart on the bottom that to get oh, this. Oh yeah, yeah. And then there's the divide. There's just like there's a lot like going on like metaphorically with this too. I'm all about it. <laughs> oh, I don't know how you do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah actually, now that you mentioned that, that is that's a really good point. Like, like, I don't under like the like the mechanics of making this. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, imagine just doing like reference photos from the chin down. Like that's got to be tough. <laughs> like I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> We've broken Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Wizards, I guess. I don't know. 
Uh, this by Joy draws uh, enemies to lovers with Ada and North, which is a really uh, interesting <laughs> interpretation of uh, of Ada and North. Uh, a lot of people imagine them getting along from the start, but it's also equally valid to imagine that maybe they wouldn't, especially if Ada is not deviant. So yeah, I like the cr- I like the path unlocked crush. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> like yeah, oh, she's, so- been a, she's been a knife to my throat. Crush. Crush. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I, I yeah. just realized what, the, what that implies is that, like, oh, yeah, no, you needed to get her to put the knife to my throat so that I was interested. North's yeah. love language is acts of violence. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also, I'm going to step out again one more time. Uh, somebody's here to tour my apartment early, and oh, I'm just okay. going to do that real quick. It'll be like five minutes, but we might love y'all. I'll catch video up. In the, in the we'll miss time. you. Yeah. Be, be, oh. safe. be careful. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'll save that one for... I appreciated that video game reference. I did. I heard it! Yes, yes, I heard it. Well done. (laughs) All right, let's share this with you, Michael. This is a cover of Muse's Undisclosed Desires by uh, Muse which was done by Dom Larry's Bacacera and Legend Tripper, one on guitar and the other two uh, on in cosplay and singing. Uh, this is one of my favorite, like, Read 900 songs, and it's just, like, really, really well covered here. Let me I make- like Muse, so this will be very, very fun. I saw them, uh, I saw them on tour in, like, 2013. Bacasera and uh, Dom Larry's, of course, some of our mods. I know you've suffered, but I don't want you to hide. It's cold and loveless. I won't let you be denied. Soon me, I'll make you feel pure. Try Your heart. What? That was amazing! 
amazing. Holy crap. What's up? What's up? Yes. 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 Holy shit. Holy shit. And they did a they did a lot of stuff together um, in this uh, in this month this team uh, and there's some some stuff later on that we'll talk about that's in a different medium they crossed multiple mediums throughout the month um, art fic cosplay and music so they're just very multi talented um, and yeah it's it's really really wonderful I I love this song already it's a re nine hundred song so just to have this covered is already awesome but. Um, the talent and the coordination between the three as well and the mixing and just everything about it is top notch. I mean, I mean, <laughs> wow. All right. So I'm going to switch back to, we can continue on with some. That was so cool. I, I like, hadn't seen that at all. That was amazing. Like, yeah, yeah. Can, like, wow. Wow. Congrats. <laughs> and we'll, we'll get more more art and also uh, Chris's apartment tour in the background, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you know, I'm sure he just didn't want to put up his headshot again and has to take the piss out of him. So so this is probably preferable. <laughs> um, as far as more enemies to lovers goes. <laughs> I love this by Vivid Reed. Um, <laughs> this is. And, uh, maybe an oversimplification of how enemies to lovers works, but uh, oh, what an annoying smile! He has a cute smile. Oh shit! <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> Just immediately going from uh, oh, I hate him to oh he's cute, and then fuck. <laughs> yeah, you're annoying as shit. But that one thing you do is kind of cute. Oh no! <laughs> and now I have the feels. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this is also like kind of similar to the one we saw before in terms of like yeah. dividing uh, enemies to lovers by mint art, um, kind of from a different angle, I suppose. And uh, I love the colors going from red to blue as well. Also hands. Hands. Yelling hands in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I like the red versus blue of it too. That's really cool. I'll have to go back to this one because I wanted to, to point out this one specifically for Chris, who's a big Steven Universe fan. Um, this was multiple panels uh, by Undead Butt on Instagram. Um, and every, yeah, yeah, that name is great. Uh, <laughs> um, that got me, I don't know. <laughs> the, the fact that somebody has a whole account that's just based on a Detroit of like usernames. <laughs> Great. Um, but yeah, so every, every panel was a different lyric from a song from Steven Universe, which I know Chris is a huge fan of. I think uh -oh. there's like Steven Universe song lyrics on his body. Um, so I'll have to go back to this and show him this when he's uh, when he's back. But uh, yeah, like this is this is really cool because it is about like they're coming together in the end. They're kind of separate. I recommend everybody go to Instagram and look at the full version of this because it's multiple panels to get the full experience. Uh, Steven Universe is on my list of things to watch like soon. Um, I have I've watched like the pilot and I thought it was really cool and I need to go back and like finish the whole thing. The next uh, prompt was Soulmates AU. Uh, so just to give some context, usually Soulmates AU in fanfic culture is there's some kind of uh, the red string of fate is is pretty much your you know your standard one. I think your name uh, the movie kind of dealt with that. Um, and that's just like, you're, you're just tied to somebody. Um, but there's also the idea of, you know, being born with birthmarks that are identical, that mark your soulmate. There's an idea of being born with, um, you know, the, the first words that they will ever say to you on your body. Um, there's the idea of if they get injuries, they appear oh. on your body. Um, mm -hmm. it's just a connection, a bodily connection between two people and kind of everybody does it a little bit differently. And there was a lot of different, um, interpretations of how, People wanted to interpret soulmates like in the context of this prompt. I saw some people um, show like that each other's like flowers that represent each other appear on their body. 
Um, the last words they'll ever say to each other, the first words they'll ever say to each other, the moment that it became true love, um, you know, like saying, I'm not going anywhere and uh, you're this force in my life I can't live without on each other's arms. Mm -hmm. um, but this one's The Red String of Fate. This is by Bella J Arts on Twitter. Uh, this is another one that has multiple panels. Um, this is really cute because the other panels are basically like, ugh, you know, I don't want to work with some, like, you know, plastic prick or whatever. And then he meets nines and then realizes, oh, shit. <laughs> That's funny. Um, as far Ooh. as soulmate, soulmate identifying marks go, um, this is Maddie Cosplay on Instagram showing off one of the concepts for uh, for a mark, like a wrist mark. Um, yeah, yeah, love for Maddie in the chat. Is Maddie yes. here? A lot of love for Maddie. Give it up. <laughs> Maddie did a lot of uh, Gavin cosplay this month. Um, so, but but this one I think was was really cool, especially especially with the lighting and stuff. Like it's just really well like composed and just everything about it. I really like it. Yeah, so. I, I, this is something that I've noticed. Do all of the cosplayers just have the Detroit Evolution lighting kit? All... <laughs> Does Brett Mullen like, just it, come to their house? <laughs> is that available somewhere and I just don't know about it? Like everyone seems to have it like all the photos i've seen of the cosplayers are like dead on the lighting scheme and i am kind of trying to figure out how they do that <laughs> <laughs> all right so as far as the team that just did our uh lovely cover this is them again um this is Ooh. a art by dom larry's who was one of the singers um, and the fic is by the guitarist Legend Tripper. It's called Out of the Blue. Um, I really enjoyed this fic uh, and this art. Um, this is basically the concept of your injuries appear on each other. Um, oh, okay. It's especially interesting because Gavin goes his entire life not thinking he has a soulmate because everybody else experiences this except for him. And so he has a lot of angst about that up until the moment he meets nines. And then all of a sudden he starts, um, you know, getting these injuries on himself and he doesn't know how to explain it. Uh, and of course, it takes him a while to, to, to realize uh, why this is and, and w w connect the dots. Um, but once it is, it's, it's really cool. And this is the one that I was talking about earlier. Where I was like, that's his face. <laughs> like, it's like looking in a fucking mirror. That is, that, yeah, that's Chris's face right there. So, oh my God, Sylvia. Ah! <laughs> what? In and out. He popped in and out. Oh, oh, I got it. <laughs> he was summoned. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's funny. So th the soulmates thing um, just gave me an idea for like, it, it, there should be, so someone should take this and, and, and write this. <laughs> um, but like, I like a soulmates AU, but like, you know, since we're dealing with the idea of soulmates, like, the good place deals with the idea of soulmate. Oh yeah, yeah. So like, what would be what would be interesting, is, like Gavin showing up in the good place and having to like, and and, and not with... belonging there. <laughs> yes, or having to deal with the concept of like if he's in the good place but Nines isn't dead yet, obviously. So like he can't have a soulmate. I, I actually love the idea of Gavin and Nines basically being Eleanor and Chidi because that actually really like parallels very well of just like. Why am I here, first of all? And second of all, why is my soulmate this uptight scholar? <laughs> why is my soulmate this trash bag? Right, and that too. Yeah. <laughs> um, Chidi and Eleanor is a cosplay that Jillian and I are going to do at some point. Ah. Noir Day was so difficult. I had a lot, a lot of, a lot of stuff that we're going to show for Noir Day. First up, this one by Including Warren. all of Detroit Evolution Noir. All so just, hang uh, out, all, you guys. Just hang out for 90 minutes, yeah. Spoiler alert, she's dropping it today. <laughs> you get a Noir and you get a Noir and you get a Noir. <laughs> uh, but yeah, a wonderful one of, uh, of Nines, just in black and white by Warden Mages. Yeah, this is, that was really good. So Ooh, much like good cosplay on Noir Day. Starting with Lady Lysian, um, Viola, uh, and, and Viola does a lot of um, Tina cosplays. So this is Noir Tina. And, you know, uh, as we'll see in a lot of these cosplays, it's not just about the costume. It's a lot about the aesthetic, the set deck, the props, the lighting. Mm -hmm. And they all absolutely nail this. Yeah, they got the, uh, I love the background. Mm -hmm. Like, they got the, the background drop for it, too. Oh, it's you by Poldisker, a I remember this one. Chris this Miller. Great. 
Yeah, I uh, I really, really enjoy this. There's there's so much like diversity amongst um, all the different like noir interpretations, but they all kind of have that like common aesthetic, which is really, really mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, I really, I really dug this one. Oh, this one's cool. But noir doesn't have to be just in black and white, uh, as Earth oh. OST on Instagram shows us. Uh, this is really, really super cool. Um, and especially, uh, like, uh, let me unmute you. Unmute you. No, no, so oh, wait, hold on. Ah, sorry. I didn't know that you could do it yourself. Uh, all right, great. Uh, maybe? Why can't I unmute you now? No, no, no. I, was, I, <laughs> I, I have a mute button on my microphone. Oh, okay. word, word, word. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so yeah. There, Welcome back, Holmes. There yeah, is, good to be back. There is one I want to go back and, and mention to you, um, because it involves Steven Universe. Oh shit! Wait before you do. <laughs> before you do. Hold on. Oh my god, he's gonna go get the jacket, isn't he? <laughs> Come on, Zoom, stop fucking, eh. stop lagging. Speaking of uh, Letterman's jackets, yep, just yep. Uh, cool. putting it out there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. cute. I like it. Big fan. I dig it. It's great. So, and I so. cannot wear it. I know. It's far too warm. <laughs> so this was uh, multiple panels with the song Change Your Mind uh, from Steven oh, Universe. Oh, change your mind. <laughs> oh. And so uh, go check out Undead Butt on Instagram because it's multiple panels that go yes. through lyrics. Yes, hell yeah. <laughs> also, that one you were saying looked like my face. Yes, I remember seeing that one and being like, <laughs> that's my face. <laughs> who did that one? Um, the same folks who did that Muse cover. Uh, oh, fuck. Dom Larry's uh, did this. Uh, Armad Dom Larry's did the art. Yeah. Yep, yeah. that's my face. Mm hmm. All right, on to noir. Ooh, so yeah, I was, ooh, was another was, noir. Was was loving this. Uh, just uh, the the aesthetic. Oh, and nines in gloves is just <laughs> that's just really cool. Mm. Oh hell yeah, the fingerless gloves. I actually have a pair of Maximilian's fingerless gloves that he left here when he came and visited before you know quarantine hit. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I sleep with them. <laughs> <laughs> Another selection by Daphna uh, <laughs> on Instagram. Um, as always, Daphna just un un unreal with the photorealism. Mm -hmm. And 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 what's really amazing about this is the ability to change the costumes seamlessly. Um, mm -hmm. You know, obviously this is a reference from the from the film, but like those are seamlessly changed costumes to fit the aesthetic, which is talent. It's so good. I love it. Uh, this is by Tan Ranyanko uh, again on uh, on Instagram. This is uh, some noir Ada North. Um, again, the costume adaptations is just super super cool, and giving Ada that kind of like overcoat cape design, but matching the noir aesthetic and the high waisted pants and stuff, really awesome. Mm. Like watching all this Ada stuff, man. I, like I'm just I'm dying for capes. I just need more. Cape. <laughs> My life. I need to be wearing more capes. I have one. I need more. <laughs> yes. This is hand drawn by Zosa. Z Z Zosa. <laughs> <laughs> Zifter. Zifter. I bet that's how it's from. Zosa Zifter on Instagram. <laughs> I'm going to go for that. Uh, I like this a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Like a sniper nines. Um, I mean, which I'm is getting real um, Winter Soldier, Watcher on the Walls vibes. Out of Winter this. Soldier, Ghost mm. in the Shell. Um, yes. Oh, yes. that what was that 30th anniversary is coming up. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Big fan. Another uh, noir uh, photo shoot. This by Colonel Corn on Twitter and Noir Ada. Again, with just like the lighting and set deck aesthetic matching the cosplay. Just really, really cool. They, the cosplayers really brought it for uh, for this day. Cosplayers are amazing. Yeah, yeah. Cosplayers are so amazing. <laughs> hey. Yeah, that's a harmony right there. That's how you do those. <laughs> Uh, noir <laughs> by yourself. <laughs> we got a uh, we got some art by Samples too on Twitter. Uh, Sam did a lot of art Ooh. this month and was usually the first to post every single day because they are on the other side of the world and it was always the new day first for them. Uh, mm. But uh, this is uh, Noir Gavin. Lovely. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Mm. He's been smoking a lot. Look at all that smoke in that room. He's just like, he's got a full carton in his like in his giant long <laughs> like overcoat pocket. I definitely think Nor Gavin smokes it easily three times as much as D. E. Gavin. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. He has whole <laughs> meals that are just uh, cigarettes and uh, the smell of the rain. <laughs> <laughs> the smell of the rain. Yeah. What'd you have for breakfast? Cigarettes. Issa cosplay just came in, which is really great because, uh, well, you'll see. Oh, whoa. Yeah, so this is Hello Sweetie, the Nicolo on Twitter. Um, I was talking to them about this the other day because I was like, the set deck, though. Mm. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that typewriter really pulls everything together. But the lamp, the ashtray, like, this is amazing. Um, all so, of it. So we got some awesome noir, uh, noir Gavin. I'm all about it. Mm -hmm. I'm all about it. There was a few uh, different pictures from this shoot that were really good. Um, it was tough to choose just one, but go check out their Twitter for all of them. Yeah, they're crushing it, man. I also like the expertly like shielded uh, uh, alcohol liquor bottle, uh -huh. like 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 whatever it may be, but it's like also like still appropriate to post wherever. Like, like, like I the perfect the bottle for the only thing they couldn't get like time, like period p perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there we go. There's Isa. Glad that Isa just arrived for this honoring of Isa's noir Ada. Yes. And, oh my god and this is kind of a different like uh we've seen a lot of like badass you know pantsuit kind of noir adas this is like a flapper noir ada which is really yes. cool yeah this is this is the noir ada who came here like who's here for help she's got herself in a real pickle mister <laughs> <laughs> legs up to here <laughs> <laughs> ankles out <laughs> Ooh, and like, have you seen that girl? now for something completely different, a little bit more color, <laughs> vacation, which is probably yes. the most colorful. Vacation, the all I ever wanted. This... Vacation had to get away. Demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> Already demonetized because of those videos, but that's fine. All right, yeah. Um, so this oh, is by CHXI2 on Instagram. A gang's all here for selfie. I don't know where they're at, but it looks fun. Hmm. <laughs> Mars. This makes me laugh. <laughs> I have not seen this one. I've this, seen most all of we've done so far. To have not seen this one. This is Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. You're gonna have to check that Android. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. You're gonna have to check that Android. No, no, no it's cool. I'll store them. I'll store them overhead. It's fine. Yeah. No, sir. The fact that yeah. Tina and Gavin are just laughing and and <laughs> just, just oh my god oh yeah like, sir, did you buy that android a ticket he's gonna sit on my lap it's fine it's not a problem. <laughs> no sir sir you're gonna have to check the android i bet you oh. could fit him in a suitcase and he wouldn't mind mm. they can't feel pain uh <laughs> but yeah this, is, <laughs> this is my intentional digital on instagram just so many good things by then this month and this one was just a shoe and i just cackled oh. <laughs> brilliant um a lovely one by Poldisger on uh instagram a very colorful one a valerina capturing tiare's beauty in all of its splendor and mm -hmm. also tina's very appropriate <laughs> reaction <laughs> the face i love i love the hot like the hard change in art style for the reaction face <laughs> babe how you doing babe <laughs> I get to be married to her? Yo. <laughs> Another brilliantly uh, vibrant one from Soror on Twitter, prompt his vacation, and Ada's chasing Lotso through the beach. Uh, <laughs> uh, she's she's going to beat him up when she catches him. I just, I love the idea of all of them going to the beach together, including Lotso with his boa and Ada. <laughs> I that Lotso won't take the boa off. We've asked a lot. <laughs> Can Nines tan? <laughs> no. Oh. I don't know. He kind of um, looks like he's sunbathing and it's just like, but, but you're but an you, android. <laughs> but your skin. <laughs> hmm. Well, like it retracts, right? Wait. Mm. 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 Maybe Wouldn't he's got be... like solar panels. Yes. Wouldn't it just be a setting? <laughs> Wouldn't he just go 
more tan. Yeah, right? Because like they can just insane. change their uh, their hair oh. color. Is this just for... He, I like the idea that he's wearing this outfit out in the sun just for Gavin's sake. Yes, yes. Just to be like, I don't know, Gavin says that he likes it when I dress like this. <laughs> I don't get it, but you know, he likes I, it. Like, it doesn't have to dress like it's actually hot outside. Yes, yes. He, yes. It was weird when I wore my full outfit to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> he bought me these clothes. <laughs> I like the idea that we've gone to the beach with him several times. This is the yeah. first time he's worn this outfit. Every other time it is. Yeah, so is anyone going to say anything to Nines about the fact, like, he does not have to wear his work full uniform. suit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, full suit every time. <laughs> On to crossover day. Uh, one of Chris's picks, uh, Studio look, Ghibli, Aiden North by Astral look, Dawn. Listen. When you bring me, I saw this. I saw this on Twitter, and I, like, if you're gonna, gonna if you're gonna do a crossover and you're gonna bring me Princess Mononoke crossover, I'm all about it. Oh, <laughs> this it, moment though. Mm -hmm. This was the uh, this was like I this was the first time I had sat down to watch a Hayao Miyazaki movie. Cause I didn't know growing up that Kiki's delivery service was one. And then they were like, Oh no, no, no. Like that guy, he's a very famous director. You got to see this one. It's like the star Wars of Japan. It's so huge. It's ridiculous. And I was like, okay. And when I saw this, I flipped the fuck out. Yeah. I love princess Mononoke. Okay. <laughs> kind of want to watch it right now, actually. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I loved that. Oh my goodness. Attack on Titan. Yeah. yeah. My Nova got me on Twitter. Yep. Attack on mm -hmm. Titan. Mm -hmm. I hadn't seen this. Really? No. <laughs> Mikasa! <laughs> <laughs> My favorite thing is people screaming Mikasa's name. <laughs> Just like they, they need to get new dishes. Mikasa! <laughs> Mikasa! <laughs> 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 There's a couple Star Wars crossovers, but this one was from Tinder to Gruda on Twitter of some Gavin and Nine's Obi Wan Anakin action. Mm -hmm. this, one, this one implies uh, an imminent betrayal. Ah, oh, yeah, it's like it's like lovers to enemies almost. Mm. Yeah. Damn. Uh, this is a unique crossover by Page Two Hundred and Fifty Jane on Twitter. Uh, it's a crossover of Can and Gavin and Nines meeting our Gavin and Nines. Mm. Oh. <laughs> a little bit of that might actually happen in real life. Oh yeah, they're just gonna bleed into the real world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, now we're thinking with portals from Catalina on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> can we get a, can we, this one can we get a even portal hard version? Huh? Can we get a portal version where Ada is um, Gladys? Gladys. Oh, uh, of course Ada's Gladys. Like Jillian yeah. voicing Gladys would be really cool. <laughs> you two idiots. <laughs> 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 You'll never stop me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so Intentional Digital again with CSI Miami. Uh, <laughs> sunglasses over sunglasses. I laughed so hard for so long <laughs> at this illustration and then uh, I then showed it to my wife who also laughed so long <laughs> over the idea of... <laughs> The, I like the I like the reverse of putting the sunglasses on as opposed to taking them off before the opening credits. But the fact that he's already wearing sunglasses and he puts more on over it. At some point, I'm just gonna I'm gonna recreate this. At some point, I'm gonna do like a, a thing of this. <laughs> Gotta happen. I have to do it. I've been thinking about it for a while and just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. But that's, <laughs> that's coming. That's coming. Don't worry. Yes. I need to because that's <laughs> a hamburger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, puts them on. <laughs> oh, big fan of this one. Uh, right? You're going to yeah. have to tell me who these Pokemon actually are because I know nothing about Pokemon. But this is by Astral Dawn again on Twitter. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, okay, so I, full disclosure, I, I, I love Pokemon and have played, but like this is these Pokemon are from a generation I missed, so I actually had to have somebody tell me which Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, this is this is uh, is this Ruby and Sapphire? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, I think that was the one with like Totodile, and that's yeah. like the mid mid evolution for, or maybe the, I can't remember. And then I forgot Leopard, the one Le Leopard, the one that they did for Gavin. I remember like seeing it, and being like, 
I know that I've seen that Pokemon before, but I couldn't remember. Right. Um, but fucking awesome. Yeah, I mean, as I said, as I said when I saw this, like, I I wanted to be a Pokemon master too, and um, this was amazing. This this mm. takes me back to all the times of being like, of actually like playing Pokemon and battling with people and stuff, like. This took me back. I was like, oh, now I miss all my, like, Pokemon toys from when I was in, like, junior high and high school. I and this was, like, Game Boy Advance generation. So, like, that's back when you had your, like, GBA, and then you could get that weird little cable, plug it into two GBAs, and then fucking battle. Like, that, oh, God. Uh, so many bus trips. I think, I think yes! Uh, also, yes! it's delightful that they completely kept your canon outfits for this. That there was yeah. no, like mm -hmm. they just styled up your canon outfits to be, and it works. Like you look like Pokemon trainers. So good. On to body swap day with EK uh, and uh, Ada and Nines swapping. Uh, <laughs> because Android viruses are a thing. Oh my God, because you're Nines and you're always right. <laughs> <laughs> I like that switching codes switch their outfits. Oh, you'll, yes. see that, you'll see that again. Uh, because, you know, <laughs> that's what they're comfortable in. <laughs> um, so this is Bitter Tragedy, M on Tumblr, who did a lot, and Instagram as well, uh, although I think it was Artfest by M on, on Instagram, did a lot of cosplay videos throughout the month. Uh, this one was especially interesting because uh, M was acting as the other characters in the reverse cosplays. So for the actual performer, it was, it was I think, uh, a, an interesting challenge for them. Um, the full videos are on Artfest by M on Instagram or Bitter Tragedy on Tumblr. And you can see a lot of other uh, videos that they did for the month. Um, many of them uh, really, really deserving of your, your views. Um, and this is also a cute idea for body swap. Um, Alice Tallulah Lula on Twitter. Uh, of course, Nines would uh, not know what hunger is. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Gavin would not know how to control his skin. So that's really uh, something I never thought of before when it comes to body <laughs> swapping. Thirst, sweating. Like yeah. he wouldn't understand any of what was happening to the human body. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just like, what, what is like, this? This is what you feel like all the time? I'm oh my tired. God. <laughs> What's this? What's this liquid pouring out of my like? What is? What's that? Are you melting? <laughs> no, this sweat, I'm not leaking fluid. It's sweat. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Shit, bro, you live like this. <laughs> you <line>. live. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, another body swap that results in a costume swap by Astral Dawn. Um, this time, Ada and Gavin. I I cracked the fuck up when I saw this. Pure talent. <laughs> 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 On to Vampire Age. Oh! Yeah. Ooh! Live Rune. Yeah! Chris Miller Blade. <laughs> Gonna hunt down some vampire androids. I also <clears throat> love that the poster doesn't say Michael Smallwood. It says Chris Miller. It says Chris Miller. Chris yeah, Miller it's Chris and Miller Blade. Blade. <laughs> this is what it is. When he leaves, it, it eventually retires from the DPD, takes up acting, and plays Blade. In the <laughs> reboot, yep. Yeah. This is also technically the cover from Blade 2, but I'll let it slide. <laughs> 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 uh, Spring Roll Arts, a Ooh. Castlevania redraw with Ada. Ooh. There was actually wow. a couple of Castlevanias. This, this I had not seen this one. I love this. I hadn't seen this one either. I think it's might only be on Tumblr. That might be it's why. It's on Tumblr, yeah. That's right. Fuck yeah. By children and animals and dying old men. Mm. <laughs> uh, this is by Hey H Hallam Art on Instagram from What We Do in the Shadows. <laughs> when you become a vampire, you become very sexy. <laughs> 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 Played by Jermaine Clemens. Oh, yeah, yeah. More Castlevania. This one, uh, Chris's pick from Ten mm. Rianco. Big fan. Nick. Have you seen the Castlevania on Netflix? I have uh, not I've, watched the show yet. Um, I'm a big fan of the Castlevania games, though, but I have not watched the show. I'm a big fan of the games as well. I have uh, I played a lot of them on DS, and then I played Lords of Shadow, which I believe highly underrated on uh, Xbox 360 and PS3. Good. Um, and uh, this, uh, yeah, big fan. I've seen episode one of the Castlevania anime on Netflix, but that's it. 
Uh, on to the mutual pining day. Another meme from Holly. Chris Miller, not sure if they like each other or are just really weird. Mm. <laughs> this was another um, interesting uh, challenge for the artist to convey a, an abstract concept through art. So some, all, like all of these are, are really, really interesting, kind of the same way with the enemies to lovers of the way they conveyed this. Uh, the first one being uh, this one from March. Uh, I really like this because like just by the expressions and the posing, you, you get that vibe. And I also really love Hidden Iggy sitting here and like being, <laughs> being very, very adorable watching y'all. Iggy is so cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I absolutely, this, this one might be one of my favorites of the whole month um, by Soror on Twitter. Just like the two panels of what they're both experiencing as they text each other goodnight before they get together. Um, and just that that frustration of um, of having a crush but not being able to do anything like it. Oh, lots of love in the chat for this one. <laughs> just a lot of people saying, this one! <laughs> <laughs> This one by Undead Butt, uh, again, on, on Instagram. Undead Butt. I'm going to laugh at that every time. Yeah. <laughs> um, again, just a really interesting conveyor of, uh, of mutual pining, of like thinking the same mm. thoughts, but having like doubts um, and their own unique doubts um, from mm. keeping them from being together. So um, I love this. Uh, yeah. And that little tie that ties them together at the bottom, too. Yeah. Kind of mm. red string of fate a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so many people do the um red and blue aesthetic um to represent them which i think is really really um beautiful and fitting mm -hmm. and they've got in the center they got the red white and blue for the good old us of a <laughs> <laughs> that's what unites them america <laughs> <laughs> i guess uh <laughs> Ooh. Pacific Rim Day uh, on Tumblr. This is McChip is Fried. Um, really How was the sequel to this movie? I didn't see it. Uh, the one with John Boyega. I, I also didn't see it. I uh. There's like good parts and bad parts. Like I would have to kind of like explain like my thoughts about that, <laughs> like uh. in, 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 in like depth. Um, that's a movie I don't know how I feel about is basically what it comes down to. Okay, because I liked the first one, even though the story was trash. I was all about the first one. <laughs> I find the first one to be one of those highly overrated movies. Ah, uh, okay. I, I, when I saw, when I finally saw the first one, I was like, oh, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get what everyone likes about this movie. Uh -huh. Um, but yeah, that's, that's me. <laughs> I know. I feel you. I get it. On to fake dating. Uh, this one. But about Pacific Rim, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> On to fake dating by Marchonia. Um, the concept of Ada or uh, Tina and Nine's fake dating for a case, um, <laughs> which is really a funny concept. There's a lot of uh, really interesting pairing ups of this uh, fake dating concept in both fic and art throughout the month. I like I like the idea that they're both. Like it's such a fake date that they both only order like they're both eating variations of soup. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everyone is drinking soup. Everyone's yes. just drinking soup. Food is gone in the future. It's all liquid food. Mm -hmm. Um also the very cute, very cute hidden Iggy there. Yeah, See Iggy right here in the flowers. Woo <laughs> um I, I like this too because I feel like most of the time they use the you've got to be on a fake date as a means to like bring, like set up two characters you've always wanted to see together together. But this isn't that. No, it's yeah. legit just a fake date. Yeah, that's it. And like, I just love how earnest that is. <laughs> this one actually is Ooh! what you described by Lone Lion 924 I just, this is just so endearing to me. Just, yeah. Sorry, our cover can't be blown. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The, this reminds the, me of that moment in Inception where John Zoom Gordon Lemon is uh -huh. like, he's like, hey, they're looking for the dreamer. Here, kiss me. It didn't work. Yeah, they're still looking at us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was it was worth a shot. shot. <laughs> 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 well, you know, uh, there was actually one, uh, somebody did art of the Ada and Nines doing this uh, from Captain America Winter Soldier. The <gasps> Ooh, public displays uh, of affection make people very uncomfortable. Quick, kiss yeah. me. Um, yes. Which that was really cool as well. Um, if, if I was that your first kiss in thirty years, <laughs> seventy years. 
if anybody that's, knows who uh, who made uh, that Ada Nines one, throw it in the chat because I want to shout. That's one of my favorite fake kiss moments. Is that one from Winter Soldier? It's so <laughs> good. <laughs> and also, in, in keeping with that, Chris, uh, two people who definitely are not, you know, actually on a, interested in each other. Right. Ah, this one. So back to fanfic Rex. This is Tell Her a Story, Tell Her the Honest Truth, an Ada North fake dating story by Karina May. Oh my God, this fic. If you are not already into Ada North, this is the best gateway fic to that ship that you can really imagine. Because this fic is uh, about Gavin and I's wedding that Ada gets invited to and needs a date. So she invites North um, to be her fake date. Um, although that might end up being a misunderstanding by the end. It's really, really endearing. It's really sweet and warm and wholesome and just like well-written. Um, the Read 900 stuff is still very present in the vows and stuff. Like their wedding is awesome. So like if you're only here for the Read 900, you haven't gotten to Ada North yet, this is a great one to get started on it and see the the love for Ada North because it's it's really, really cool. It's, it's all Ada-centric, um, the whole story. So go to AO3 and check that out. Mm. On to alternate endings. Uh, the, the alternate ending in which Chris totally expected them to get together by McChip is Pride on Tumblr. Mm. <laughs> Lovely. And like, uh, and it's like, it's like over it already too. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's one where he's not so oblivious. Like, yeah, no, we get it. Like, can we go, can we go do our jobs? Like, what are we doing? Yeah, because it's also like, didn't I like wake you up at four in the morning and shit to do this as well? <laughs> Still, we're still, we're still drunk from the bar. Yeah. <laughs> Time for this. Now for something completely different, an alternate Ooh. ending by Ooh. Soror in which Nines fails. This had multiple panels. Uh, this one being, I think, one of the more all-encompassing ones. You can see the full comic on Twitter. Oof. Yeah. A lot of people went with this alternate ending. They used it as an opportunity for angst and failure. You're damn. Oh. Or you could go with the Scooby Doo ending by Ye Emotional on Tumblr, where <laughs> Lotso was Ada the whole time in a wig. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't get it at first. Oh really? <laughs> but now I get it. When I oh realized what was happening, I was like, Oh no! Uh, oh. <laughs> That is what so? so I can explain. Um, I can explain. <laughs> also, yeah, not enough, not enough serious, like serious <laughs> movies about love and and murder mysteries end in full on Scooby Doo endings, and I think I think that should change. He's wearing an Ada suit. That's mm -hmm. ridiculous. A full on Ada suit. I. It uh, so? <laughs> and I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids. <laughs> if it weren't for you meddling cops and androids. <laughs> if it for you jacket cops. <laughs> oh, the serious so finale of jacket cops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, this one by Iggy Tortoise on Twitter. Uh, I just really liked the, like, imagery here like the abandoned shell of the body and her like rising anew from her new body like this is just really really cool mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh another alternate ending fic that is also ada north into the night by prep school ada by joe joe did a lot of fics this month i believe all 31 um but this one it really struck me because it was a direct continuation of de uh, as if ada had been arrested um, but this is a story in which North breaks her out of prison. And uh, North's justification for doing so is really, really cool to explore in this fic. And it's really short. You can check it out on AO3. I think it's like less than a thousand words. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, Joe's crying. Do you like the aesthetic, I like this, Joe? <laughs> I like this caption of, you had me at, we'll make it look like an accident. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there might be some Kamsky murder plotting in this fic as well. But it's, you know... <laughs> Um, an alternate ending in which Hank and Connor get back from New York and are surprised to see what has happened with the uh, Gavin and Nines in the meantime. This is by Possum with a Pencil on Tumblr. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> They're what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> We're back, everyone. As if Connor would come in and just announce, yeah. "We're back, <laughs> everyone." <laughs> ah, you know who this is? A by boot on Twitter. Alternate ending: the Snow White ending for uh, mm. Detroit Evolution. It's very, very beautiful. As with all by boots art, lots of love in the chat for them. I also kind of like this because, like, if we're looking at this in the context of the film. And like the like a body like strewn out on a table at the end of the film, it sort of implies weirdly that Ada was going to take Gavin's body. Mm. Like at least that's like a little bit what I thought when I saw this. I was like, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I go I go a different a slightly different way of like in the end, her choking him and throwing him, he dies. And like we're able to save the day, but yeah. we have after afterwards we have to have this memorial for him. And Nines is like put on a ring and it's very mm, cute. Oh, oh, that's so gorgeous too. Oh man. I believe he does wake up. This is multiple panels, which oh. you can check out on Twitter, Instagram. Oh, um, and I can't remember, I think it's like two or three panels and I can't remember if he wakes up or not in the third one or if there is a third one. Um, but yeah, you can go on Twitter or I believe Instagram as well and find out. And then he pulls up and then we pull up his head and it turns out <laughs> it's Fowler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one getting in the roommates prompt Riven red paladin uh girlfriend uh matching matching uh backpacks which is really sweet i, I want a bag that says girl i was thinking that too I was like, you have to explain hey so why does your bag say girl why does your <laughs> one say rind <laughs> like, it's just all peeled oranges on the inside you're like why <laughs> <laughs> uh chris this is one of your selections but i mean it honestly would have been one of mine as well uh mm. i'm live rune on tumblr and instagram this is just so sweet all the details um mm. in this i love that they have framed a lot of the other fan art yeah yes yeah. i like that was one of my favorite details was like they snuck in like all this extra content right there the fucking avatar crossover one is like uh yep and Love then, it. And That's then you've got a crazy. Nyan Cat shirt. We've got Shonk. We've got my book. Uh, we've got an Ace mug, pan socks. I'm sure there's a hidden Iggy in here somewhere. Well, I don't know. I also like that they, on the bookshelf, they seem to only buy books that have the color scheme they need to yes. create that rainbow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, I think this is a nice subtle touch. So there have been times where I've been, like, I play, I play guitar and I've been living with people. And sometimes they're like, hey, it's great that you're playing guitar, but could you play it even quieter? And the way you do that is you play it on an electric guitar that's not plugged in. And right now, Nines is reading and not and Gavin is playing on an electric guitar. So it's actually even quieter. So it's even easier to exist in that space with your roommates. Mm -hmm. Just like big fan. Didn't know that. Uh, another one by Intentional Digital. Uh, some things never change. Uh, sometimes you're just roommates and you put together a chair wrong because uh, IKEA <laughs> instructions are hard. <laughs> I also like it. See, it sort of implies that Gavin walked in online <laughs> doing this. I wonder why you have mismatched socks. That's also cute. <laughs> So disappointed in nines because he should be able to just upload the down the instructions. Mine. He's like looking at the physical instructions and still mess this up. Come on, nines. Yeah. This art by I like or like myself on Instagram. Uh, Royalty AU with Tina. Ooh. Wow. That is some fantastic work. It's giving me like heavenly sword vibes. Warrior queen right there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is dope. Daisy Candy bread on Instagram with some medieval lasso cosplay. The, the metal arm, though. <laughs> like the suit of armor arm. Yes! Suit of armor. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and, yep. and the expression, just everything came together really, really nice for this. So, so... This is great. Is there's multiple pictures from the shoot you can check out on Instagram. Um, I think there's like three or four more. They're all fantastic. I just adore this. Love That's it. That's amazing. <laughs> mm. This is from Orange Fish Soap on Twitter. Uh, the idea of Tina and Gavin being betrothed to each other, but being in love with other people. Oh, shit. So they're, they're handcuffed to each other. 
I love that. I'd love to see that story too, because like I don't mm -hmm. think you get that story. I don't can't think of too many stories where two people are like supposed to be wed to each other and they're like, how do we work together to get this shit to not happen? Because like you're great, but I love this person. <laughs> right. And they're like, you know what, you're cool, but I love this person. So what are we doing? <laughs> Yeah, what are we what are we doing here? What are we doing? How are we doing this? You know, if we both tried to unlock these handcuffs, that'd probably be a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's like that Chinese finger trap. It's like, okay, if we both just like stop and hold it, we'll get out. A <laughs> uh, different type of royalty. Uh, Chris Miller is the Fresh Prince of Bel Air by EK on Tumblr. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have you not seen this one? I had not seen oh, this one. Oh, wow. <laughs> I had not seen this one. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Fuck yes. Yes. Uh, on to Wump Day, which is uh, basically you just torment your characters with very little comfort and feel Wump sorry day. for them. Wump. Uh, <laughs> I saw that on the prompt and I was like, I was like, what the hell is Wump? <laughs> <laughs> You just get whomped. It's it's like Womp. getting slapped in the face with. Cold. I'm gonna just I'm gonna keep using that word all day today. Womp. <laughs> well, this is both Gavin and Nine's womp uh, in their own different sorts of pain. Um, lots of uh, dysfunctional buyer's remorse, unwanted baggage, not alive, <laughs> soulless, obedient machine, broken. Incomplete. Oh man, I feel like womp could also be a very strange acronym. Oh, Whales man. have unusual meat packages. <laughs> <laughs> Womp. <laughs> um, Marsh did a more traditional womp in which Gavin gets really womp. injured and Nine stays with him. Where is womp. the hidden egg? Oh, hidden egg. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. Womp, womp, womp. Uh, this from Sweet Ooh. Insanity Times 3 on Twitter. Monster AU cosplay makeup and I suppose graphic design as well. Yeah, shit. That's so dope. Yeah, a lot, yes. of, lot of love. Oh, and Sweet Insanity is in the chat today. That's, and just uh, a patron today, so thank you for that. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty horrifying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. God damn, dude. I Holy mean. fuck. Uh, it's about to get more horrifying. Uh, this oh is... my god, what's happening? No! <laughs> so this is if uh, Zlatko got a hold of Ada and Nines and Gavin and North find them too late. Whoa. Whoa. Fuck, man. Todd 2.0 got to these guys. Shit. Yeah, no, I'm gonna suggest we kill it with fire. Yeah, kill it with fire. I... Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy like, this is a beautiful part. illustration. Like, yeah, great work, great like, work. Very well but, done. Uh, <laughs> oh my but, god! Oh no! Oh no! Hard, hard pass. On to something lighter. Uh, when Gavin gets stuck in the closet with nines and he tries to hide his new feelings for the stuck in the closet prompt. <laughs> This is just another uh, forcing your two characters to uh, be in tight proximity and admit their feelings trope, which I really, really love. And we got a lot of good stuff this uh, this day. Um, didn't take much for Gavin and Nines in this one, and Samble's to uh, Twitter, uh, Twitter drawing, which is really beautiful. the system of a down poster in the back. I saw that. And is yeah. that what is this? Is this a Foo Fighters poster? I think so. I love the. Yes, I love that. I, I saw the system of the down poster. Music, but uh, very subtle and very awesome touch is that Nines is wearing a Seven Deadly Sins shirt. Yes, he is a crop Woo! top even. <laughs> yeah, I love that. This is a call. What is happening? <laughs> so this. I have questions. Did you see? Yes. Did you see the one at the beginning of the month where Jay was a vine pirate for Reverse AU Day? Did Lotso as the detective and Gavin and Nines as the rave guys that he catches? <laughs> this is a sequel in which Lotso opens his closet and finds them in there. Um, oh my Christ! I like have a question. Actually, no. I'm sorry. I have all of them. <laughs> I have every question you I have every question. And there's that shirt again. Uh, <laughs> I mean, zippers. the zipper shirt is present. He's wearing Crocs, which <laughs> yes, the I the, mean, I don't even know what I don't. Yeah, the I'd scarf is a day. the scarf is a duck. I love it. There's <laughs> happy faces drawn on Nines' knees. <laughs> <laughs> Lotso so still glasses. has his glowing glasses. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Wow. It's just, wow. I, I you guys got to go back and watch and, and look at the the first one. It it I cracked up for a minute and went and liked it on every fucking platform because it was just so good. Oh my that's, god. That's the absurdity I'm here for. <laughs> yeah, I'm with it. Um. Pride and Prejudice uh, was honored a lot on Jane Austen AU Day, and I guess it's a very fitting uh, book for Read 900, actually. Extremely haughty at <laughs> all times. That's how Gavin talks in this universe. <laughs> uh, this is by Carolyn on Tumblr. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, this, one, this one just had to make it for me by March. Um, this is just like such a beautiful representation of that still from Pride and Prejudice, like the 20, 2005 film, I believe, mm. um, while also merging together some elements, I believe, of the Colin Firth, Mr. Darcy, and, of course, y'all. Uh, where is Hidden Iggy in this one? I actually... Is oh, Hidden I, Iggy? I think he's... Yeah, it's right there. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, he's in the nope. bottom. No, bottom. No, no. He's in the yeah, bottom. Bottom. Underneath. Oh, that's right, that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Is. You guys must have your brightness turned up more. Yeah, you nailed it. I'm good at finding them. <laughs> that took me a minute. That's the most covert Iggy there's been so far. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, props, props. This by Kim Lazard on Instagram. Um, <laughs> apparently, there's like a meme from the original film where Elizabeth just looks very confused when Darcy says that he loves her. And I felt like that was befitting of... <laughs> love it. Just the, the, the confused woman meme. I love that. Mm. All right, so yeah, this this is the one that Maximilian sent me and was just like, I gasped. Um, there's just mm. like, also the dots on the vest. Just, I'm I'm in awe. Yeah, the details. Also, this is making me want to grow a goatee again. This is like, <laughs> you look like Tony Stark in this picture. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And, and judging oh. by how accurately Daphna uh, portrays your face, I bet in real life you would. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I bet mm -hmm. if you grew a beard, you'd look like Tony Stark. Mm -hmm. Woo! Man. This is uh, on to Touch Star Day, the final day of Art Fest. Um, this is by Scully Illumine. It is hand-stitched, including all of that cursive. Whoa. The, these Whoa. are song lyrics. Um, I'm not sure of the song. Um, but... Mm. Yeah, that was hand stitched cursive. Unbelievable mm. effort. <laughs> mm. Dang. Mm. Uh, this owl fruit on Instagram. I just love the colors in this one. Like, mm. It's just and the line work as well. Um, mm -hmm. It's just very soft. Yes, owl owl fruit's yelling hand stitched, and I'm like, yes, but your art's great too. Look. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. See, yeah. you're here too. <laughs> Um, this is by Triple oh, J's man. art on Instagram. There's a couple panels of this, um, which you guys can check out. Um, hey, Hands! Hey, Hands! Hey, <laughs> This was one, one of those other concepts that, you know, conveying through art was not necessarily easy for the artists, but um, they, they, they knocked it out of the park. Oh, yeah. Nailing it. Mm. And then the final uh, art piece of... Actually, is this the final one? May or may not be. I... We'll see. Um, <laughs> this is by Soror. This was a whole comic. Um, you can check it out on Twitter. Um, there were a few more panels beforehand, but it's basically um, Nines having some insecurities and Gavin hugging him, which is kind of cool to see that, um, like, Gavin comforting Nines, because Touchstarve is always sort of applied to Gavin as a character, um, mm -hmm. and that makes perfect sense. But uh, this one hit me in the feels when I saw it yesterday. I was just like, oh, poor Nines. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. 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 And yes, that is the last art piece, but I do believe I have one more video. And actually, it's a great video too uh, in the it's stream. It's Detroit where... Evolution Noir, guys. Everybody settle in. Here we go. I'm not going to Oprah that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear what you guys. Okay. So this was um, for the dancing day. Um, Chris, they took your lovely clapper video, uh, audio and matched it to a bunch of cosplayers coming together and doing a dancing collaboration in yes. the cosplay, which is really, really sweet and really awesome. And 
here it is for all of our folks in the chat. Somebody save your soul cause you've been sinning in the city I know too many troubles all these lovers got you losing control you like a drug hey. Yes! <laughs> Woo! Oh my god. Everybody. Ugh. Yeah, so uh, that's everything that we've got to share today. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, Come on, fam. So <laughs> talented, all of you. I loved that. That was oh. great. Oh. Yes. Um, like I, I, it was such a struggle to just narrow it down to what took two hours to get through. Um, there was over 1100 entries on Instagram alone in the tag. Um, that's not even counting Tumblr and Twitter. And there were over 250 fix. Um, it was immense, um, this month and the amount of work that all of you have done. Uh, I, I am blown away. I never expected it to be this much of a success when I first came I up mean. with the idea. I was like, maybe let's just do something fun, you know, and just like throw out some art prompts and, you know, keep the momentum going. And oh my God, just absolutely um, overwhelmed. And I'm so glad to have been able to, uh, you know, have a, a enough to honor you guys with a whole stream to share your work and share what you've done for the community. Um, and thank you too for joining thank me. You. Oh, yeah, of, course. <laughs> of course. Oh yeah, of just, course. Just, yeah, easy. Um, so and, happy to be here. Love, oh, love, love being part of the streams and seeing everybody down in the chat and seeing all the incredible work you guys do. Like, I, it means so much to us to get to see um, all of it. Mm, it leaves and, me speechless every time. <laughs> And uh, and all and all the everybody who's out there creating, you guys got to give yourselves credit because I think the practice of creating is one of the like essentials in like being a, an independent artist, and it is can sometimes be one of the hardest things to get down and own, especially when times are uncertain. But you guys have stuck with it every day, every prompt. So like props to you guys. It's, I yeah. admire it a lot. Absolutely. I mean, like. I always tell people all the time that like one of the hardest things about art in general is finishing anything, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, all of us will be able to tell you like the the, the amount of stuff that e even even Michelle, myself, like Chris, even the stuff that we start and don't finish is way more than the stuff that you guys actually see um, that we finish. So like the idea that all of you took the time, sat down and finished all these incredible projects and put them out there for all of, I mean, that is a huge accomplishment and it's not something that everybody gets to do. So you should own it every single time you do and you should be incredibly proud of yourselves because we are really proud of you. Yeah, I also want to shout out those who perhaps did not uh, contribute anything artistically to the to the art fest, but supported those who did. I know that that encouragement and that feedback and that love and that cheerleading meant a lot to the artists who contributed and kept them going through the uh, the massive amount of work that many of them did, especially during quarantine, especially during what we're going through. Um, and so, yes, continue to support uh, the artists in the community. It it can make the 
break make or break the difference between whether or not they continue um you know doing what they love and, and continue putting their work out there so all of you are wonderful and coming to a stream like this helps support them and definitely go follow all of those lovely artists on instagram twitter tumblr oh wherever wherever they can be yeah. found um what do you guys got coming up that you might want to tell people about do you have any streams do you have any projects anything that you want to mention mm -hmm. I don't think you're ready to mention your thing yet, Michael. Are you? Or you're oh. not you're not pulling it together yet. Which one? Which thing? Oh wait, which thing? Oh, <laughs> oh wait, oh that thing. Yes. <laughs> oh I might I could probably talk about that a little bit. Um Well actually you've got you've got um the okay, reading right, of retcon coming up. Yes. Yeah, so um all right, so I'll 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 go. Um <laughs> so on August 14th, um Pure Theater uh is doing a series of readings, uh play readings and uh, our next one on the 14th is a play called Retcon or Villain, which is a play I wrote. Um, it is uh, about Black Rage told through the perspective of superhero and supervillain mythology. And you should definitely come check that out. You can go to puretheater.org if you would like to get tickets. Um, they're free. Shit, it's a virtual reading, so you don't have to like get dressed and go anywhere. You don't have to live in Charleston. You can just watch it from wherever you are. So there'll be a reading of the play and then um, a talk back with the actors and myself uh, afterwards. Um, we just did one uh, a play reading last night. Uh, and so the next one is August 14th. So definitely check that out. Um, you can obviously uh, check out my podcast, Welcome to Greendale, which is still going on. If you are a fan of Community or have never watched Community, uh, we do, I do a podcast about the show. Um, and it is very funny, and you should be watching Community anyway, because it's amazing. And then, um, so the thing that Michelle's sort of alluding to is that uh, I'm, uh, I'll make a, a, a bigger post about this um, beginning of the beginning of the week, but I'm going to start, I'm going to offer a um, writing course. Um, yeah. Uh, so I haven't done this before. And it's going to be like the first time I've done it, but I'm going to do like a writing course that'll basically uh, walk you through the process of starting with an idea and ending with a script. Um, and it's going to involve like a lot of, a lot of writing, uh, a lot of feedback. Um, I'm a huge, and, and like, like genuinely like you writing it, bringing it to me and, and the other people, we do a bunch of feedback and uh, loops and stuff. Um, I'll you know give a bunch of pointers about the process and then when it is all done, you will finish with a screenplay. And I will actually also then have like, you're not only that, but you'll finish with like um, what to do with it after that. So uh, yeah, so that'll be a thing. Keep an eye out for that. Cause I'll start um, talk like, like opening up registration for that um, beginning of this week. Great. Lots of uh, interest for that in the chat. Lots and lots of oh, interest good. for that. Yes. All right. Uh, what about you, Chris? Are you streaming this week? Well, uh, well. first things, uh, question, puretheater.org, is that sp theater spell at the end R-E or E-R? R-E. Here, I'll drop, I'll drop that down in the chat. Drop that link. Drop that link. Because I was just like, I'm just writing <laughs> puretheater.org, retcon. And I want to take your class. <laughs> I do. All right, I do. Cool. That's like, it's, it's, it's very universally, I think it's kind of a really beautiful form of universal irony. <laughs> I've been like telling myself, I'm like, I need to take a writing class. I really want to write more. I want to expand that skill. And now uh, a good friend is starting a writing course. So fuck yes. Um, uh, as for things I got going on, um, right now, uh, I, uh, I just signed with a new voiceover agent, which I was very lucky to do. Um, a friend of mine had been with them for a long time and uh he asked them if i could have permission to email them and they said yes and then we freelanced and then they signed me and uh so i'm very excited about that and in that that got me really motivated so i finally made another script and voiceover piece to partner with lone lion again and so lone lion had now has it and they're gonna like incubate <laughs> and and take their time and that is a thing that will be coming sometime in the future. I'm very, very, very excited to be partnering with them again. I consider myself very lucky to be working with such a talented artist, animator. Uh, and um, and uh, the minute before has been on a bit of a hiatus for the past couple of months because it's been a pandemic. Not everybody, everybody went from living in New York City to uh, our, our guitarist moved home with their parents. Our bassist is at home with their parents. Our drummer moved home with his parents. Our, our singer moved in with her, her boyfriend's parents and now I'm moving home with my parents. But we have, I finally got all of my organizational skills back under my feet and I have now organized a recording session for us in late September to go to my parents' house for a week. 
and record like just record new music and get that all set to be done and mixed by the start of 2021 so yeah so that's what's going on with me very cool and yeah. uh, as always, I stream four times a week. Uh, the next time I'll see you guys is on Opwoo uh, this Monday at 2 p.m. Starting the new stream schedule this week with Thursday morning starting the Telltale's Walking Dead Season 1 blind playthrough. <gasps> and then... Uh, you ever play that either? Nope, I'm on an unspoiled. Thursdays at 10 a.m. <laughs> um, so legitimately, Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 1 is uh, the only video game that has made me cry. Like I cried. Like mm -hmm. I cried at the end. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> some um, feels are in store. And then Friday night at 8 p.m., uh, I'll be coming up with some kind of game of the week by tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> But anyway, um, that's it for us today. Again, support your artists. Uh, thank you so much for your contributions. As always, stay great, hydrate, have a happy time zone, and scram! 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 <laughs>